atop the NFC Eastern Division with a record of 62. The Eagles on the rise at 4-4, four and, four, and the Giants at 2-6 and six need a win this afternoon. I'm Pat Summerall with John Madden, and I guess, John, the first question we should direct ourselves to is the quarterback situation, the Giants first. Well, of course, we know that Phil Simms is out. He's going to be on the sideline today dressed in street clothes, as we see, and Bill Parcell said that he should be ready to go next week. Of course, Jeff Rutledge is going today. Jeff has been in the league for nine years, and this is only his eighth start. So he has every all the knowledge and experience he has to know, but he needs that game. And, of course, the Eagles present a little something different with their quarterback. Well, Randall Cunningham, besides having a strong arm and a fine arm, also runs like a running back. Buddy Ryan said during the week, I don't know if 56 can catch him anymore. Bill Parcells told 56 that, and he said, we'll see. Raul Allegre will kick off for the Giants. Bobby Morse standing back deep for the Eagles. Number 36, Chris Carter on one side of him, and Michael Haddix on the other. Sold out Veterans Stadium. The Eagles playing with a lot of enthusiasm and optimism. Allegre's kick will come to Bobby Morse. Outside the 25, almost to the 30, before Robbie Jones brought him down. A return of 20, and a good one. But there's a penalty marker on the play. The illegal block. Gordon McCarter, by the way, is the referee. Quarterback for the Eagles is Randall Cunningham. He is a marvelous athlete. He will be looking at this defense. George Martin starting again at defensive end. Jim Burton in the middle. And Leonard Marshall on the right side. The linebackers, Banks, Johnson, Carson, and number 56, Lawrence Taylor. And in the secondary, Collins and Williams in the corners. Terry Kennard and Kenny Hill in the secondary as the safety men. Keith Byers and Anthony Tony running backs. And it's going to be Tony right side. Four yard pickup, and let's look at the Eagles' offensive setup. Cunningham, the quarterback, Tony and Byers, the runners, Mike Quick and Kenny Jackson, the wide receivers. The offensive line has Darwin Schreiber, Ferry, Baker, Joe Conwell at right tackle, and John Spagnola is the tight end. Second and six. Quick is split out wide to the right. And that's Jackson on the move. Cunningham to Byers. And Byers hammers for a first down. Outside the 20 to about the 23. A pickup of 11. Kenny Hill made the stop. Well, that's the one thing that Buddy Ryan and the Eagles have been waiting for is to get Keith Byers going. You know, they figure that they have Randall Cunningham. They have the good wide receivers. But if they really want to put an offense together, they have to get that running game going. They're very happy with the other running back, Anthony Tony. They both are big. Tony's about 225 and Byers about 235. Tony is the lone setback. Byers is out. They go with two tight ends. Day. Mark Collins knocked him out of bounds for the NFL updates. Let's take you to New York and Brent Busberger. Well, Pat, the Patriots go to Tom Ramsey as their second half quarterback. Injury to Steve Grogan and late against the Dallas Cowboys with great offensive line protection. He hits Stanley Morgan and the Patriots lead the Cowboys 17-14. Let's go back to Pat and John. No score here as yet. We're in the opening moments of the first quarter. The Eagles took the opening kickoff. And have driven it upfield. This is Byers again, and Byers hammers outside for an Eagle first down. Mark Collins again made the stop. A gain of seven. You know, the interesting thing, Pat, watch Lawrence Taylor out here. He is so conscious of getting Randall Cunningham, he runs up the field, and then the runner just runs right inside him. Watch him. He's up on top there. He's going after Cunningham. And look what's happened. Keith Byers just runs right by him. Well, Buddy Ryan was saying he hoped that they assigned 
Lawrence Taylor to Cunningham, and that would take him out of the pass rush. So hard work. This is Byers again. He breaks one tackle. His stutter step. Carl Banks made the stop, but he still got five yards. That's what a quarterback like Cunningham can do. You know, you get so concerned with him, so concerned with his running and scrambling and trying to get on him that you let other things go. And uh, not to be redundant, I hope, but that's just what Buddy Ryan had hoped they would do. Myers is out, and Michael Haddix is in. Second down. Confusion in the Eagle backfield. Now they get settled down, and this is Tony. And Tony gets to midfield and out of bounds, and another Eagle first down. Kennard had to make the stop. During the first game of the season against the Redskins, Anthony Tony was the starting back, and the first two or three times he, he carried the ball, he fumbled. Buddy Ryan took him out. He was wearing rib pads. And what happened here, you get that ball against your ribs and you can't feel it. So now he took the rib pads off, and, and he feels normal again. And now he's back starting and very successfully. Letting him back to throw. Gets it out to quick. Incomplete. Kennard on the defense. You see what happened on that? Perry Williams came on a blitz. And that's why Kennard, who was a free safety, had to come over to cover the wide receiver. Cunningham saw that and got the ball off before Perry Williams got there. Cunningham is a guy who has really matured and has become a become an outstanding leader. Buddy Ryan said to him, okay, when Jaworski left, his team is now yours. And he has risen to the occasion. On second down, they give to Tony. And he is stacked up after a gain of a yard. Now we'll get a look at some of Cunningham's scrambling movability, if there is such a word. Well, the thing is, what you hope sometimes, again, they're so concerned with his scrambling, what they want to do is keep him in the pocket. You know, a lot of quarterbacks, you try and flush him out of the pocket. What the Giants try and do is keep Randall Cunningham in the pocket. Then if they're going to flush him, flush him the way they want him to go. The Eagles are going now with four wide receivers. Carter and Garrity in addition to the two that start. Cunningham comes out of the pocket. It's for Garrity. And he got it. Garrity inside the 10. Lasker and I think John Garrity got away with something here. Watch him just at the end. Yeah, it seems like to me the way the e Eagles are going, Garrity is becoming the big receiver that Cunningham is looking for all the time. There's Lasker. He found his man to man. You go back, you're looking for your man to man. He found a Lasker on Garrity, and that's where he wanted to go. Garrity just had his left arm out long enough and quick enough. To keep Lasker away. First and goal for Philadelphia. Tony goes inside the five. Pepper Johnson on the stop for the Giants with help from Lawrence Taylor. He picked up two. You know, the last two weeks in a row, the, the winning touchdown combination has been Randall Cunningham to Greg Garrity. Cunningham was telling us yesterday, you know, everyone thinks that Garrity, who's the third wide receiver, is slow. He said, let me tell you, he's not slow. Let him keep thinking that. Ball's at the four-yard line. Second down. And he retreats. Now he comes out of the pocket. And he's going to score. Blocked by Spagnola on Lawrence Taylor. McFadden comes in to try the extra point. Cunningham comes out. John Telchik is the holder. Cunningham trying to make it, or McFadden trying to make it 7 0. Cunningham made it 6 0. Good. 
these Eagles have really got Philadelphia excited. And, of course, the big part of it is Randall Cunningham. Watch him. This is going to be a straight back pass. He goes straight back, back, back. Now, look what he sees to his right. He sees that there's no containment out there. Carl Banks got caught to the inside. All he has to do is outrun Harry Carson to the corner, and that's a gimme for Randall Cunningham. of you who just joined us to watch the Redskins defeat the Detroit Lions who've never won in Washington. Welcome to Philadelphia Veterans Stadium. Pat Summerall with John Madden and the Eagles have just scored on a four yard scramble by Randall Cunningham the quarterback. A very impressive drive. They kept the ball four minutes and 34 seconds and they lead the Giants seven nothing. They were able to run early. They got a big pass completion from Cunningham to Garrity, 41 yards that put it inside the 10, and then Cunningham did the rest. Lee Roussan is back deep for the Giants, number 22, along with George Adams. Telchik will kick off for the Eagles. He comes straight at it. A rare sight these days. Ball bounces back to Adams. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Jody Schultz made the stop. Here's Jeff Rutledge, the giant quarterback, starting in place of Phil Sin. The Philadelphia defensive line of White, and he is as good as there is. Clark Brown and Clyde Simmons, who's also playing very well. Joyner, Reichenbach, and Gary Cobb will start at linebacker, and Roynell Young and Elbert Fowles, the corners. Terry Hogue and Andre Waters, the safety men. First down, Giants. Jeff Rutledge, the quarterback, at their own 29. Rutledge comes out of the pocket, dumps it off to Adams. Adams has a giant first down in Moore. He's near midfield. Fumble. This game has shocked Bill Parcells. You know, George Adams is starting at fullback this year for Maurice Carthon, and Parcells felt that he gave him bigger plays because he was a better pass receiver. They could do things like this dump off, get that thing. Of course, you have to finish it off with the ball in your hand. Hey, that was a good tackle there. That's the way you're supposed to tackle. That was Roy Nell Young. Come in and make the tackle, and as you're doing that, go for the ball, too. Andre Waters made the recovery after he got the ball. First down, Eagles at the Giant 47. Tony and Byers are the two runners, and now Gordon McCarter is not quite ready for things to start yet. The play is being reviewed. The play is being reviewed. The instant replay officials up here in the booth, and that's just what they're looking at. Well, again, they're going to say, was his knee down? Was he down was before the wrong? ball came out? First down, Philadelphia. The call is upheld. And the way they called it originally is what they'll go by. The Eagles have the ball at the giant 47, first to 10, leading 7 nothing. Cunningham fakes to Byers and goes deep for quick. It bounced off his hands as Quick fell down just at the goal line. For an NFL update, back to Brent Musburger one more time in New York. Well, Pat, the Dallas Cowboys will go to overtime against the New England Patriots. Ruzak nails this field goal, and they are just preparing to start overtime. They will go to overtime, deadlocked at 17. Back to Pat and John. So far here, Brent, it's been all Eagles. 7 nothing, second and 10. Cunningham will operate up under the center, no shotgun. Put Spagnola in motion. The handoff is to Anthony Tony. Stopped by Harry Carson. As he struggled up the middle for a gain of three. Anthony Tony was the number one draft choice a year ago. Last week. 87 yards, an average of 4.4, career high for him. If you ask 
Buddy Ryan what kind of player he likes. He describes it very simply. Tough and smart. Those are the two things that if they have athletic ability, it's a plus. This is Tony on a second effort. He breaks out of the pack. That gets inside the 30 before finally Terry Kennard brings it down. A pickup of 17 for Anthony Tony. You know, and that's the way he wants his whole football team. He said not just the defense, but the offense too. The, the blockers being tough. The running backs being tough. Finishing off blocks. You know, blocking, doing the tough things, doing that part of football. Not just the easy things and the things that they like to do. I'll tell you, I think he's on the right track. Boy, it sure looks like it. First and ten Eagles. Start from the Giant 27. This is Myers. And Myers hammers down inside the 15. Another first down. Hill and Kennard made the stop. And that Eagle offensive line is doing one heck of a job right now. Hey, they really get it up the middle here. Watch the center of the line, the center and the both guards. Ferry gets the nose tackle. See, he gets them going to the left, gets a little help. They get a good lead block right there on the linebacker, and then Byers is able to get through. That good lead block was by Tony. That's one of the reasons he's in there is because he's a good blocker. This is Byers again, inside the 10 to about the 9. Four more yards. Pepper Johnson tripped him up. That's interesting talking about those running backs. Buddy Ryan was saying he got Robert Levette from Dallas. And he said he wanted to return kicks and run the ball a little. And he goes, no, 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 no. He says, you're going to block. If you're going to be here, you got to block. You have to do those things. So, so he put him on the uh, inactive list. That's Jim Burt, the nose tackle, who's taken a bit of a beating already today and a little bit too much. And Eric Howard has replaced him, number 74. Those nose tackles get hit from every angle and just about every guy on the offensive team. And that's where the Eagles have gone to work. The Eagles have started this game going to work in the center of the giant defense or the center of their offense. That is one of the most unenviable jobs anywhere in sports, I think, playing nose tackle. Well, you get hit from every angle, and they can clip them. They can do anything to a nose tackle. Second and five at the nine. Jackson on the move. Cunningham gets it back again to Byers. No place to go this time. Eric Howard made a good play. to welcome those of you who watched Minnesota defeat Tampa Bay 23-17 to Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Pat Summerall and John Madden, the Eagles lead the Giants 7-0. They're down close again. It'll be third and four at the Giant 8. 6.50 left to play in the first quarter. Cunningham out of the pocket. Looking for a place to scramble. Gets away from Howard. Throws over the head of Quick and out of the end zone. He bought some time. Perry Williams was the defender. Well, that's one of the problems. There's a flag on the play. When you start scrambling inside the 20-yard line, you don't have much depth for your receivers to work. So as he scrambled, he was looking, Jordan looking, Anderson, looking. Number 81 offense. Penalty declined. Fourth down. Anyway, he couldn't find anyone open, so he just threw it away. to attempt the field goal. Telchik is the holder. It'll be 25 yards away. And of course a barefoot kicker. Barefoot soccer style. And he's good. And it is 10-0 in favor of the Eagles over the Giants with 6.39 left to play in the first quarter. The Eagles get a field goal after the Giants turn it over. They recovered the fumble by Adams and took it in. That's one thing, you know, I think that Randall Cunningham showed down there, Pat, is the, pa the patience he has. It's third down. Now, he's going to look for someone open. And when he can't find someone open, he just throws it away. 
Now, there's a penalty on the play. Kenny Jackson was in motion. So that play wasn't going to count, even if they got the touchdown. But see here, now, now he's looking again. He's looking again. He has no one. So he just threw that one. Just throw it in the end zone, out of the end zone. No one can get that one. And then you can get your field goal. Instead of forcing something and then coming up with an interception or turnover. Well, everyone says how he has matured. And we had a lengthy conversation with him yesterday. And you can't help but be impressed with his attitude and his command of what it is he's trying to do. That's the biggest thing he said. You know, his improvement. He said the biggest improvement is being a leader. Being able to go out here and call plays and have the players believe in what I said. Adams at his own two-yard line. To the 30. 29-yard return. Make it. William Frizzell made the stop for the Eagles, and an Eagle player's still down. That's Frizzell. Now he seems to be okay. Here's the giant offense, the backs and receivers, Rutledge, of course, the quarterback, Morris and Adams, the runners, Lionel Manuel playing with a broken hand, and Stephen Baker, the wide receivers. A look at the offensive line. That's been a source of problems for the Giants this year. This is Adams, right side. Pick up a three, and that's all. For an NFL update, let's go again back to New York and Brent Musburger. The Dallas Cowboys win the toss. They elect to receive in overtime. Herschel Walker breaks through a hole on the left side and goes the distance. 60 yards. The Dallas Cowboys beat New England in overtime, 23-17, back to Pat. So that improves the Dallas record to five and four. And that's where the Eagles are trying to get. Here's Joe Morris, left side, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Seth Joyner knocked him down for a loss of two. The man who made the tackle wound up with the football. I tell you, the Giants just don't look like they've got in sync at all. Watch the right guard pull. He's going to pull to the left, Damian Johnson. Now they get penetration in there. So that makes Morris cut right back there. He has no place to go forward, and he can't cut back. Looks like Johnson might have been a little late getting off the ball. Looks like he had a different snap count than the rest of the guys. Lionel Emanuel split wide to the left. Stephen Baker to the right with McConkey inside of him. Rutledge out of the shotgun. The Eagles put some pressure on, but Rutledge pass for Baker is behind him. And incomplete. And we'll get a look at Sean Landetta, the giant putter. Bobby Morse will go back for the Eagles. Landetta, second in the league in average, but his net yardage is not that good, basically because of the long punt return in the first game by Dennis McKinnon of the Bears. He's a good punter. He doesn't get all of this one out. Morse lets it bounce. Takes it on the first hop. Slips down and stays down. One of the officials also went down. Byron Hunt made the stop. One of the officials. Side Judge Dick Creed, I believe, is the man who's down. I tell you, they got him pretty good, too. Yeah. He, uh, he bounced up, though. You like to see that in an official, because he went right into a somersault, see? What happens, you can't keep those feet in the ground. You can't keep those feet planted. You got to get them out in the green. Watch it on the left part of the screen there. You'll see him. He's going to come right there up on top. Now watch, he takes that hit. Then he goes down. He kind of wheels around, goes to the back, gets the feet up over the back. You see, then you come to your knees again. As long as you don't have the feet in the ground, you're okay. Eagle fumble. Anthony Tony lost the handle. Got it back, but it was a loss of three. We have 440 left to play in the first quarter. Bill Parcells looking on rather dejectedly at the moment. of you who watched Dallas win in overtime over New England, welcome to Veterans Stadium. We're at second and 13 for the Eagles. And 
They lead the Giants 10-0. They're still in the first quarter. Cunningham has the ball battered back, and he comes up with a catch himself and finally goes down. Pass from Cunningham, complete to Cunningham. I'll tell you, that was some play by Eric Dorsey. He came in and knocked the ball down, knocked it back to Cunningham, and then he chased it. Watch, he's a left end, 77. He'll be right there. He gets his hand up, knocks the ball down. It's his tackle in the helmet. Cunningham gets it. Now watch who comes in and puts the pressure again. It's 77 again. Dorsey right there. Very active play. That's pretty good hustle. You ball goes from him to you to the helmet back to him. Then you go get him. Or no game. Cunningham back to throw. Rush by Banks. Comes out of the pocket. Will not get the first down. It is hammered right at the 30-yard line. Gets up quickly, so he's okay. Phil McConkey goes back deep for the Giants, number 80. Telchik. Back to punt for Philadelphia. He's liable to do anything. Outstanding athlete. I think from this location in a 10 nothing lead, he better punt it too, don't you? I don't think he will do anything except punt it this time. Almost got it blocked, but he gets off a great punt. There's going to be a roughing the kicker call against the Giants. Gary Reasons was the man who almost got it, but he also got the punter. And it's going to be roughing the kicker. The Eagles will keep the ball with a first down. And of course, the fans know that. The minute they see this punt, then they see this rough. That's Gary Reasons coming in there. Now, he doesn't hit the kicking foot. He just catches that left foot or plant foot. He didn't mean to do it, so it'll only be five yards. But it's a first down, more importantly. That's the big thing, automatic first down. Hey, this has been a tough year for Bill Parcells. They start off 0-2, then they go on strike. They've lost to Dallas twice already this year. Plus, he was sick all night with some kind of a stomach virus. It has been a tough year. Well, when you have that kind of start, you tend to get sick more. Tony, the ball carrier, got just two yards. Carl Banks made the stop. This is the thing. You know, with Carl Banks on one side and Lawrence Taylor on the other side, what do you do? You know, that's what Randall Cunningham was saying. You know, okay, yeah, let's stay away from Taylor. Okay, we have to run into Banks. He said you can't get him blocked. Let's stay away from Banks. Then you got to run into Taylor. So I think the way they started is not going to either side, just go boom, straight up the middle. Take that. Cunningham out of the pocket and scrambling up, sliding to the 45. Pepper Johnson. Knocked him down after a gain of five. The other thing that Randall Cunningham has is, is the ability, I mean, obviously to scramble and to run and to throw, but to get his body turned that as they rush it, they never get hits on it. You know what I mean? To kind of slither, turn sideways and kind of slither through the thing and then get squared again and go. Third down and four. Eagles at their own 44. Greg Garrity split wide to the left. Showed a blitz, and now they come after Cunningham. Oh, intended for Tony, but behind him. Pressure was on. I think the Giants are starting to get some control back. They, they didn't have any control. Cunningham had all the control in the early part of this game. Got the 10-point lead. Now it looks like the defense is starting to get it figured out, calming down and calming the Eagle offense down. The Eagles came out and sort of rocked them back on their heels after they got the opening kickoff. They drove it 91 yards to get the touchdown. Then they got a field goal. They lead 10-0. Kelchick back to punt. This time the pressure's not there. The kick is to McCunky. Signals fair catch at the 25 and makes it. Only a 31-yard punt by Telchik. A little extracurricular activity goes on, and a flag goes down. 10 nothing, Philadelphia.
What's all the excitement at your Chevy dealers? It's Chevy National Pickup Month. Come see new option packages for 1988 that can save you up to $1,900 on Chevy S10 pickups. And take the test drive of the decade in the advanced new full-size Chevy. The first all-new full-size pickup introduced in this decade. See your Chevy dealer now during Chevy National Pickup Month. Everybody else is. Hey, no Australian Thanksgiving's complete without the smooth, refreshing. You're right. Yeah, well, we need a big bird. Matilda Bay, a different kind of cooler from a different kind of place. Hey, where did you learn about computers? In the Army. You were in the Army, too? Qualify for the GI Bill and the Army College Fund, hey, and you can earn that? over $25,000 for college. What you do in the Army? Airborne. You used to jump out of airplanes? Lester's grandson's flying on business to the Far East. How far? Dayton? Nope, Taipei. You can't get there from here. Anybody tell Lester? No airline flies to more of the world from more of the U.S. than Northwest. Hey, look at this. A free trip after just 20,000 miles. Yeah, but it would take you 20,000 miles to read those restrictions. He reads? Northwest frequent flyers get a free trip at 20,000 miles, period. At Veterans Stadium, Philadelphia 10, the Giants nothing. 111 left to play in the first quarter. There was a penalty on that last punt return against Philadelphia, against William Frizzell. And they move it up 10. Here is the fracas. That was Frizzell. That was after the play. Walked up to Herb Welsh and said something, then pushed him. Then Welsh pushed back. Then the flag came out. And so the Giants will take over at the 40-yard line, their own 40. Now we're ready to go. 10-0 Philadelphia over the Giants. Approaching the end of the first quarter. Jeff Rutledge is the quarterback. Sims in street clothes over on the sideline. The Eagles are coming after Rutledge. But he gets the ball to Bar Bavaro. Bavaro stops, stays on his feet, gets down to the Eagle 35. Nobody even close to him. Terry Hogue finally made the stop. I'll tell you, Jeff Rutledge just got rid of the ball. Reggie White is coming from his right side. See right here, look at the pass rush there. He has to get rid of the ball. He gets it to Bavaro on a short slant, hits him up the middle. And, of course, you said there was no one around him. He looked like he was going to lateral that thing forwardly. The Giants' first first down. 30 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Rutledge going to work. Touchdown to Lionel Manuel. He just burned by Roynell Young. 36 yards. I'll tell you, that's one thing you don't see much. Roynell Young is one of the best corners in the league. As you said, Manuel just blew right by him, and he looks like he shocks Young. Watch Roynell Young here. He's coming off. Now watch, when he goes by, he just picks up three or four steps right there. Roynell Young can't do anything about it. In fact, he looked at the end like he let up a little, but it was a perfect throw from Rutledge. Remember, Manuel playing with a broken hand. Allegri hits the extra point. And now it's 10-7. The Eagles lead the Giants with 22 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Experience a new dimension in sight and sound. Now every sight, every sound, every performance in the theater of life is yours. Trust RCA to bring it to you on the ultimate audio video system, Dementia, only from RCA. The most trusted name in electronics. Chevy Camaro. 
you could be surprised to discover that you can get one of the best known cars on the street with new ground effects, a new rear spoiler, and tuned suspension for a heck of a good price. And you'll also get something that's tough to get these days. Noticed. The heartbeat of America. Suddenly, your long-distance calling card is obsolete. Unless you have the world's first and only fiber-optic network card, the phone card, new from U.S. Sprint. Now, without changing phone companies, you can prove to yourself Sprint has the best sound quality possible and savings on every call versus AT&T. Call now. For a limited time, we'll give you one free. The new phone card, only from U.S. Sprint. Seven with 22 seconds remaining first quarter. Allegra set to kick off and Bobby Morris will be back deep for the Eagles. The Giants scoring drive happened in a hurry. Two big passes. Rutledge the touchdown pass to Manuel. Before that the pass to Bavaro that set it up. Allegra has the ball blow off the tee or fall off the tee. There really isn't that much wind. Indian summer in Philadelphia. What a Beautiful day. Legre's high kick is going to go to Morris at the 10. Upended and flipped by Robbie Jones after a 16 yard return. Ten seven Philadelphia lead. Pat Summerall with John Madden. As the final seconds tick off the clock in the first quarter, the Eagles perhaps will run one more play. Rushing yards, the Giants none. The Eagles 91 with Byers and Tony doing the work. Tony is the lone setback this time. Cunningham back to throw. Outside, Spagnola has it bounce off his hands and out of bounds incomplete. Carl Banks was out there by him. He would have only gotten a couple of yards if he caught it. You know, the Eagles do an interesting thing with Spagnola. They send the plays in. They signal the plays in to John Spagnola, the tight end. And then Spagnola gives them to Cunningham. Cunningham was saying he thought the reason they did that was because Spagnola studied and learned what he wanted to do because he wanted to play more. That's one way to stay in the game. Here's Byer. Much doing there. He got up to about the 30 yard line. Word from the Giants is that Jim Burt had a sprained knee, but you can see now, it's right in the middle of your picture, he is back, and that's the end of the first quarter. Eagles lead it 10 7. How does the advanced new Chevy Halfton stand up to Ford? Chevy gives you more standard power than Ford. More cab room, more shoulder room, more two-sided galvanized steel, new two-tier loading, and a bigger, heavier frame. So how does Ford stand up to the first all-new full-size pickup introduced in this decade? Not very well. The heartbeat of America. Test drive it. That's today's Chevy truck. For 75 years, Liberty Mutual has shown companies like IBM, companies like General Mills, companies like Ramada Inns, and thousands of others how to make their workers' compensation dollars work harder. As a result, they've made Liberty Mutual the largest insurer of America's working men and women. Time once again for the annual Boomerang Bash in Matilda Bay, Australia. Ready! Set! Throw! <laughs> Go on, Ray! Down here, we nutted out a wine cooler as unique as our sporting events. Matilda Bay Wine Cooler. A different kind of cooler from a different kind of place. <laughs> Now you can enjoy Matilda Bay Cooler because it's being made by our mates in the States. It'll take your taste away from the everyday. The Ups. 
Upstart Saints, a team to be reckoned with. But soon they'll reckon with the Giants next Sunday on CBS Sports. Ten seven. The Eagles over the Giants. The Eagles have the ball at their own 30 yard line as we begin quarter number two at Veterans Stadium. Randall Cunningham this time operating out of a shotgun formation. It's a good snap. Out of the pocket. Oh, it's complete to Garrity. Should be enough for a first down. Herb Welch on the stop. Gain of nine. I'll tell you one thing. That time of possession, the Eagles had the ball for over 12 minutes. The Giants just a little over or two minutes, 53 seconds. So you can just see at the start of this game, the Eagles have really done everything that they wanted to do. The Giants haven't gained a yard rushing yet. And of course, they got the one big play to Lionel Manuel. First down, Eagles at their own 39. Pitch back to Tony. Tony cuts over the left side. A pickup of three. Terry Kennard came up to make the stop. One thing about the Giants that I've always said is when they're successful, or if they're going to be successful, they have to be able to rush the football to run. It seems like Joe Morris has to have control, get that thing over 100 yards, then they have the possession, then they rest their defense, and then boom, they really come after you. Now, you can wear this defense down a little. Second and six. Out to quick. And quick. With a little juke step, shook the defender, and got about eight more yards out of it. A gain of 13. Hey, well, that's one thing about this Eagle offense. We see the blitz here. Perry Williams, who's the corner, came on a blitz. They caught him in the perfect play because Terry Kennard, the weak safety, had to come over to cover quick. So as Williams comes on the blitz, then Cunningham just goes whack and just throws it out there to quit. Cunningham back to throw again. Gets it up to Spagnola, right up the middle, inside the giant 40. Pepper Johnson brought him down after a gain of seven. He looks relaxed, doesn't he? He's one of the few quarterbacks that I've ever seen that wears a mouthpiece up. See what he does? He has to take it out. That's why most quarterbacks don't wear a mouthpiece because they can't call a play. I watch him. He'll take the mouthpiece out, call the play. As it goes up to the line of scrimmage, he sticks it back in. He says, I wouldn't go out on that field without a mouthpiece. Or a rib pad. Second down. No flag on the play. This is Byers trying to get to the outside. Now there's a penalty marker down, way downfield. Byers stopped by Mark Collins, or led by the tackle of Mike Co Mark Collins. Maybe a yard. Here's Matt Cavanaugh, the backup quarterback, number six, who signal in, signals in to Spagnola, and then Spagnola, as John said, gives the information to Cunningham. This time, Cunningham himself comes over to the sideline. against the Eagles the Giants will take it moves the ball back to the giant 48 yard line Burt goes out Howard comes back in at the nose tackle position nose guard whatever you call it brings up a second and 14 the ball at the 48 just over 12 minutes left to play in the first half Myers picked up the blitzing Lawrence Taylor Gets it out to Spagnola, who gets down to the Giant 25 before Harry Carson knocks him out of bounds. A gain of 20. Watch a move that Cunningham puts on Eric Howard, number 74. He's in the pocket. Here comes Howard. He gives him a little pump fake, stops, comes out to the left. Now that's buying time. Now look what happens when you buy time. Now you let your receivers work. Spagnola worked across the field, and they got back the big first down. But Cunningham got that, not by the pass protection, by the move he put on Howard, escaped to the left and by time. He also got a good block early from Byers on Lawrence Taylor. 
first down, Philadelphia. Cunningham back to throw again. Chased by Marshall and brought down. Marshall was the first man there. And then Jim Burt brought him down. Well, that's the way you have to get him because you can see the one defensive lineman breaking through can't do it. There's Marshall. He comes through first. Then he tries to pump Marshall off, which he did, but there was Jim Burt sitting right there to make the tackle. Haddix comes out. Byers comes back in. What the Eagle offense in the category of quarterback sacks have allowed so far. Second down. It's back to Tony. No gain as the giant pursuit is there in a hurry with Kenny Hill and Mark Collins. You know what I can't understand about the Eagles is they started out early and they had success running to Byers and Tony inside. Straight up the middle. Boom. Give them those quick hitters. And now they're trying to get outside. And you're not going to be able to do that against this giant defense. Philadelphia three for six and third down conversions. They convert this one, they'll be doing something. It's third and 18. Cunningham back to throw. Down the middle to quick. It can get dangerous in there. Herb Welch was the nearest giant defender. And Terry Kennard was the other one. Handle Cunningham, you see, he looks out there, looks at quick. Now he's going to find him deep. Watch Kennard is on this side. Watch Herb Welsh come into it. They sandwich quick. That's the old double coverage deep to the post. Here is John Kelschick now. And again, he's a good athlete. Does not take off with it. Hangs it high. Hunky has it sore over his head. All the way into the end zone. And they'll bring it back to the 20. will take over there with 10 19 left to play in the first half it's Philadelphia 10 the Giants 7 if you had all the experience of yesterday with all the skill and innovation of today, you couldn't lose. Blue Cross and Blue Shield carry the caring card. Business. These days, it's no cakewalk. You want to get ahead? Use the tools of the trade. Watch your staff. Have a nice day. Use the card rated best by frequent business flyers for travel and entertainment, the American Express card. And use United Airlines to give you more flights to more top business centers. Tough climb, huh? Yeah. Look, you know where you want to end up. Wow. Nice view. Why not make it a little easier on yourself getting there? Hi. Hi. We're almond growers. Now is the perfect time of year to have or attend an almond roast. We've put everything you'll need right here in this handy almond roast kit. That's right. That's right. That's right. This kit is so complete, the almonds are already roasted. Yay! The forks are not included. No. Blue Diamond Almonds, roasted and seven other great tastes. Don't you wish you had some right now? We, we wish, wish you had some, some right now. now. A can a week, that's all we ask. Seven with 10-19 left to play in the first half at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Eagles lead the Giants. Giants first and 10 at their own 20. Jeff Rutledge, the quarterback, is three of three, including the 36-yard touchdown shot to Lionel Manuel. That's Bavaro moving around, and this is Rutledge back to throw. To Bavaro. Out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. That'll be enough for a first down. Roy Nell Young knocked him out. Of course, 
it's the guy that they have to block, the Giants have to block, is Reggie White there. And we watch William Roberts has that assignment. He's the biggest pass rusher, the best pass rusher in the Eagle team. And that's a matchup that if the Giants are going to pass, they have to be able to do. I tell you, on that one, Roberts is pretty good. Reggie White weighs 295, so does William Roberts. So that'll be a good match. Physically, at least. Rutledge. Quickly out to Bavaro. Incomplete. Time of possession, which John Madden was talking about a minute ago. The Eagles have had things pretty much their way. The Giants haven't been able to do anything on the ground. No yards rushing. And that's the thing. That's that's how you get that time of possession. And of course, and that keeps their defense on the field longer, and it keeps your defense off. Now, just the opposite is happening. The Eagle defense is fresh, and the Giant defense will start to wear down. Second and ten. Rutley back to throw. Gets up the middle, intended for Bavaro, picked off by Seth Joyner. Joyner with the Eagle interception. Returns to the Giant 41. A return of 13. Joyner came up with a rebound. Well, he caused the rebound first. I think they've been looking to Bavaro one too many times. Watch him. They're going to hit the middle there. Seth Joyner is running with Bavaro. The ball bounces up in the air, and Joyner comes down with it. That's a heck of a play there. Hey, that was good coverage. When a linebacker can stay that close to a tight end before the ball gets there. Watch him. Now, he's not only with him, but he's running underneath him a little because he has help deep. You see the deep help. Now you can stay underneath and go for that interception. Now they go straight ahead to fire as the Eagles do. You know, it was interesting. The Eagles had 98 yards rushing in the first quarter. And, of course, that was that inside run. Boom, boom, boom. Then in the second quarter, they've only had four yards rushing. I think that's when they started going outside. I'm sure Buddy said, hey, 98 yards is a lot better than four. Let's go back the other way. So it's second and seven. Balls at the Giant 39. Fires and Tony behind Cunningham. Fires again. Surges down inside the 35. Picked up four. Pepper Johnson again made the stop. Keith Byers had both feet operated on. He had his... his one foot operated on, remember, at Ohio State. Then he had the same injury to the other foot. And I'll tell you, when you're a running back in the NFL, you need the feet. And you especially need the feet on uh, this artificial surface like this. That's probably what caused it to begin with. But I guess supposedly he's, he's well now. Both of them are well. Tony, left side, first down, Eagles. Again, it's Pepper Johnson on the stop. There's Matt Cavanaugh. Ten seven, the Eagles lead the Giants. Eight twenty left to play in the first half. First and ten, Philadelphia. Balls at the Giant twenty nine. Cunningham in the arms of Lawrence Taylor. Second sack for the Giants. Well, that's the way you have to do it. What they did is it looked like there was a hole in the middle there. Then they plugged up that hole. Watch Cunningham. He's going to try and step up. And watch as he steps up. There's no place to go there. So now he has to come out to the side, and there's Lawrence Taylor going. Now watch what happens here. Kenny Jackson falls down. So that's one of the problems. He's looking out there at Jackson, and that's causing him to have to go to the scramble. Brings up the second and 14 situation. Spagnola moves, and they pitch back to Tony. Tony is going to be stopped for nothing, a loss perhaps. Uh, maybe three yards. Harry Carson brought him down. I'll tell you, if I were the Eagles right now, I would throw out the outside run. I bet they haven't gained a yard outside, or at least that I can remember. And I'd stay inside those tackles. And, it, and pass and scramble and do those things. That first drive, that's all they did. They got the big pass completion to Garrity. But other than that, all they did was run straight ahead with Tony and Byers. 
Third and 18. Excuse me, John. No, the, the Giants do pursue well and do tackle well. Cunningham has the ball stripped away by Taylor. But the Eagles get it by. Well, Lawrence Taylor shows there that he's still quick enough to catch Randall Cunningham. But he's going to start up the field up on top of the screen. And now, when Cunningham starts to run up the middle, watch him catch him. Knock the ball out. Luckily, that came right up underneath Randall Cunningham. That scramble might have gotten him in field goal range for McFadden, at least for an attempt with John Kalschick to hold it. It'll be a 50-yarder. Not much wind to contend with. Good. And the score remains 10-7. They'll bring it back to the line of scrimmage with 6.21 left to play in the first half. The Eagles are up by three. Tour of duty. I don't know what you owe this guy, Sergeant. I just don't believe in sticking my neck out for no reason. The man was drunk on duty. We are sitting Ducks LT. Thursday on CBS. Whenever the Giants play the Jets, there's been a tradition of all-out competition. Everyone wants to be a winner, and when we play, there's a fierce competition between these traditional rivals. But there's one team that we're all a part of where everyone can be a winner. That's the NFL United Way team. I'm Carl Banks of the New York Giants, and here tonight, I'm joining a very special team. Every player being honored here has been chosen to represent his team as part of the NFL United Way series. Over the years, a lot of great players have been chosen to tell the United Way story. Players who were stars on the field and in their communities. And here tonight, these players are being recognized. They are part of the NFL United Way team. That's one team that's always a winner. And that's one team you can be a part of. On behalf of the National Football League and Commissioner Pete Rozelle, for all the owners, the teams, and players, we want to say thank you. United Way, it brings out the best in all of us. This message furnished by the National Football League. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Miller Brewing Company, sole sponsor of the U.S. Olympic Training Centers, the heartbeat of America today, Chevrolet, and by the U.S. Army, a place to be all you can be. Stadium. Pat Summerall, John Madden. The Eagles lead the Giants 10 to 7. 6:21 left to play in the first half. Giant ball at their own 32 and a half yard line. Jeff Rutledge, the quarterback. George Adams is the lone setback behind him. Manuel is the move man. Across the middle to Manuel. Amazing job catching the football with that arm, left arm encased in a cast. You know, sometimes I found out over the years that players, when they have an injury like that, not the broken hand all the time, but if they have something, that makes them concentrate more and they become better players. So you think I can't catch with a broken hand, yeah. and you concentrate so much that you become a better catcher. Showing blitz, the pitch is back to Adams, trying to get to the outside. Reggie White turned him back inside. Mike Reichenbach made the stop. Adams got two yards. Did you see Adams there running with the ball? You know, he had to fumble early that they recovered, so he's so conscious of holding on to that ball. He's holding it with both arms, and that tends to affect your running. comes wide to the left. Lee Ursan goes out. Wide to the right. Rutledge is back to throw. Screen pass to Adams. Gets away from one eagle. Gets into eagle territory to about the 48. Reggie White. All the way 
away from the other side after a pickup of six brought him down. Yeah, you're talking about Reggie White weighs 295 pounds. But the other thing he does is he runs a 4-6-40. Now, that's the speed of wide receivers. You know, 4-6 is the same time as, as Jerry Rice of the 49ers. Wide receiver. Now, look at this guy. You're talking about 295 pounds. And when you can move it like that, when you get there, you're going to have some impact. Buddy Ryan says you don't find those kind of people just walking around on the street every day. Here's Rutledge. Inside Bavaro. Bavaro hammers down inside the Eagle 35. Mike Reichenbach made the stop. Hey, this is good pass protection here for Jeff Rutledge. Watch him here. Watch the offensive line. Now, they, they collapse that whole Eagle defensive line right in front of Rutledge. Now he can not only see his receivers, but he can step and throw and get full velocity in the ball. Navarro gets a giant first down at the Eagle 34. And that's he, the move man. This is Lee Roussan. And Roussan gets outside. Roussan down to the 20. A flag down on the play, however. Andre Waters made the stop. To pick up a 14, but a penalty marker down. The Giants. Holding number 86 offense, 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat the down. On manual. You don't see that a lot. A wide receiver called for holding on a running play. Usually they don't block a lot, but watch him. He's blocking here for Roussan. Right in the middle of the picture. He did hold him. He had his right hand right around him. That's his good hand. You have one good hand right. left. What do you do with it? Well, hold the guy. Hold, I right. guess, yeah. First and about 11. Balls it to 35. Same play coming right back to Roussan. Different result. Simmons up to make the stop. You know what I can't understand, Pat, is where Joe Morris is. He's only carried the ball one time today, and that's for minus two yards. Roussan is in there now. There's Morris on the sideline. I don't think there's an injury involved in this. Doesn't look like it. But I'll tell you, I think if the Giants are going to be the Giants that we saw last year, they need Joe Morris running for those 100-plus yard games. Second and eight. Rutledge back to throw. Semi rollout. Flag down on the play. Pass complete. Lionel Manuel made the catch, but there's a flag on the play. Two flags on the play. Somebody forgot to bring the ball. Flags all over the place. Offensive holding, number 65. Illegal block in the back, number 68 offense. That ought to cover it. Double dipper. Yeah, and it's the center and right guard, Bart Oates and Damian Johnson. They're both 10 yard penalties. The holding penalty, number 765, declined. Illegal block in the back, number 68, accepted. 10 yard penalty, repeat second down. Yeah, I wonder how they decide that. I mean, you know, they're both 10 yard penalties. Do you take the one against Johnson or Oates? I don't know how they decide it. I mean, poor Oates gets off the hook and they go in the thing and it's going to look in the stats like Johnson. Of course, it was a complete pass, too, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. The Eagles were yelling about that, too. They thought he was out of bounds. But well, maybe it was a triple dipper. 3 3 left to play in the first half. Rutledge gives to Roussan. Roussan goes straight ahead. Gets inside the 40 to about the 37. A pickup of seven. Ken Clark made the stop. You know, one thing I've noticed about the giant offenses is the line really in the running plays aren't, aren't really knocking the defense off the line of scrimmage like they did last year. Yeah, you know, they seem to be a little more passive, a little more position type thing. Maybe Joe Morris not being in there, but obviously this isn't the same type of run offense as they've got to go. They've got two new people on the right side as well. Rutledge out of the 
the spread. Goes upfield in the direction of Manuel incomplete. Jerome Brown put the heat on Rutledge. Made him throw it high. He had the heat on him, but watch the way he throws it. It looks, the, it looks like the ball doesn't come out of his hand the way it's supposed to. Watch, it doesn't just shoot out of there. It kind of comes out over the top. Of course, I guess if you got green jerseys hanging on you, that makes the ball come out at different angles than it should. Raul Alegre will attempt from 53 yards away, as long as it's 55. Rutley just holding. Got enough leg into it, I believe. They got it. From 53 yards. And the Giants move into a tie with the Eagles, but just over two minutes remaining in the first half. In engineering the Cutlass Sierra Coupe, style is as important in our thinking as aerodynamics or suspension geometry. The car's a beauty, and from an engineering standpoint, this, this sort of timeless styling, this endurance is reflected in every component. It's engineered to last. And look great doing it. From the engineers at Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile quality in the beautiful Cutlass Sierra Coupe. No Australian Thanksgiving is complete without the smooth, refreshing. You're right. Now all well, we need is a big bird. Oh. Matilda Bay, a different kind of cooler from a different kind of place. If you feel like you're not really in control of your insurance planning, you should talk to a MetLife representative. Get Met, it pays. ties it from 53 yards out. And he's kind of proud of this. He does a pirouette. A pirouette. Yeah. Getting ready for the ice show. Allegra kicks it off to Bobby Morse, who retreats to the one and starts out from there. Gets to about the 23, cut down by Andy Hitt. Turn of 24. That's where they mark it, right at the 24. 10 10 tie, with 202 left to play in the first half. Giants, eight plays, went 31 yards to get it in position for 53 yard field goal by Raul Allegri, his longest as a Giant. First and 10, Philadelphia. One play, and then we'll have the two-minute warning. Tony breaks a couple of tackles, gets good yardage, a gain of seven before Gary Reasons finally makes a stop. Now, both coaches will be notified that there are two minutes left to play, a minute 56 in the first half. It's 10-10. Eddie, understanding your passion for Miller High Life, I brought you something. A six-pack. No, a bottle. A bona fide Frederick Miller original, circa 1880. Note, it is just as clear as today's bottle. Proof positive, Miller has been proud to show their dark, rich beer for more than 100 years. Now, that's tradition, Eddie. That's the American way. That's great, Jim, but I prefer this bottle. Why is that, Eddie? Because it's full. One thing's for sure at Meineke. I'm not gonna pay a lot for this mother, and it better be quality. Bud says we're not gonna pay a lot. And we appreciate your call. I refuse to pay a lot for this mother. So don't worry. We install quality Everlast mufflers from just $18.93 installed. 
I'm not gonna pay a lot for this muffler and still get quality. You're not gonna pay a lot for quality at Meineke. In the Cutlass Calais, GM's new four-cylinder quad-four engine produces more power per cubic inch than most V8s. And 36 miles a gallon. This engine in this car makes driving an extraordinary experience. From the engineers at Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile quality in the dependable Cutlass Calais. Do I look like the kind of person who'd be running a brothel? A high-class lady in a dangerous business makes headlines. Candace Bergen, Mayflower Madam, tonight. Next Saturday, CBS Sports presents the most exciting day of college football this year. Starting at noon, Eastern Time, 7th-ranked Notre Dame and Heisman Trophy candidate Tim Brown meet last year's national champions, Penn State, followed by the most eagerly anticipated game of the year, Nebraska and Oklahoma, numbers one and two. Second and three. Cunningham back to throw. Gets away from Banks. Gets it out to Tony. Tony steps out of bounds at the 40. Kenny Hill knocked him out. Cunningham again bought some time. Well, he did it by making a move on Carl Banks. This move is so good, he made Banks fall down. Watch it. Banks is going to be right there, coming from his right. Watch him. He gave him a dip into the left, went back out to the right. Banks fell down, and then he found Anthony Tony. That's the kind of move that Carl Banks would hope to lose that film. Cunningham locks it outside to Junior Cotalatasi. And he just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he got a yard. Lawrence Taylor and Andy Hedden. Eagles call a timeout. Cunningham comes over to talk to Buddy Ryan. It's 10-10 with a minute and 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Alpatine, aggressor tank spotted. You know the battle drill. You need horsepower. Firepower. People power. That's teamwork. Moving tank, back front, 2,000. This team uses a computer, thermal sight, laser rangefinder. Oh! The whole tank wins. The whole team wins. Not just one person. Find your future in the Army. The event, the prestigious black and white ball. The place, the cultural heart of Northern California's wine country. And the wine served. Why, Gribari, of course. Wines of tradition. In 1859, Isaac Cook created a great American champagne to launch the great American clipper ships. Today, people are still launching celebrations with Cook's Imperial American Champagne. Pride is an integral part of Cutlass Sierra engineering. It's something we want owners to feel for years. Zincro metal and galvanized body panels. Any chip plasticine. We've added years to the life of this car. I like to think of this baby as our time machine. From the engineers at Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile quality in the enduring Cutlass Sierra. Two Heisman contenders. Front runner Tim Brown ignites Notre Dame against Penn State and Blair Thomas, the doubleheader day of champions, next Saturday on CBS Sports. Sims with the injured knee over on the sideline. Here's what's happened briefly. Philadelphia has 122 rushing yards. The Giants 20. The score is 10-10. Cunningham got the Eagle touchdown. Emmanuel got the Giants touchdown. Cunningham by George Martin. The third sack by the Giants. Yeah, that's what you have to do. I think the Giants are figuring this out now is you have to form a triangle. You have to get a guy in the middle so he can't step up. You see right there, they're going to have the guy in the middle coming into the middle, and then a guy from either side and just squeeze him into each other. Contain him. 10-10, timeout Giants. 
My brother thinks he's bought the perfect TV. Sure did. It's perfect, perfect TV. Oh, yeah? Perfect, yeah. Does it have a flat square picture, too? Yep. High yep. resolution filter? Yep. 178 channel capability? Roger. Four speaker stereo system? Yep, right. On screen there. graphics? Yep. A remote that controls this TV, wireless cable, and VCR, yep. even if they're different brands. Hey, I got a Magnavox. Smart, Tom. Very smart. Yeah, I know. Acting dumb is just my job. Hmm. Doing a great job. Memo to Phil and DP. Have we lost our minds? Our friends on the sixth floor want to get their hands on 386 PCs as soon as possible, and I agree. My question is, why do we automatically assume that means IBM? Now we have a choice. I suggest you look at AT&T. The AT&T 6386 works with the PCs we already have, and we can run the same programs we're running now. The issue here isn't just computers and software, but it's keeping our options open, now and down the road. Introducing the AT&T 6386 workgroup system. And now I think we know that AT&T is on our side in the long run. That's it. See that that goes out today, Marianne. Saturday, the game of the year, Oklahoma, Nebraska on CBS Sports. 133 left to play in the first half at Veterans Stadium. Both teams now have two timeouts remaining. This last one was a giant timeout. Third and 17. Eagle ball at their own 33. Cunningham. Lots of time. Out of the pocket, chased by Martin, and finally runs it out of bounds and stops the clock. Lawrence Taylor in pursuit, gain of only two. The Eagles are going to have to punt. The Giants have two timeouts remaining with a minute and 24 seconds left to play in the first half. McConkey goes back deep. Telchik back to punt for the Eagles. scores the Rams won it on the last play of the game Indianapolis over Miami Colts all of a sudden tough so are the Vikings Cleveland Jay Schrader went out was replaced by Doug Williams Dallas in overtime beat New England Herschel Walker had 173 yards for the Cowboys and 10 Giants. They have two timeouts left. Jeff Rutledge, the quarterback. On a draw play to Adams with some room to run. Got outside the 40. Picked up six. A reminder that at the half we'll send you back to New York to Brent Musburger and you'll see all those scores and highlights of what has taken place around the league. Brent and Irv will be there with that. Giants again. They have one left. If you ever thought you had to give up comfort to get a close shave, think again. Norelco puts close and comfortable right in the palm of your hand with a revolutionary system that shaves skin close in a way that's incredibly comfortable. With a patented lift and cut system that lifts each hair so it's possible to shave skin close without the blades even touching the skin. A shaver that defies logic gives you a shave that defies belief. Norelco Rotatract, where close and comfortable come face to face. Giants 10, Eagles 10. 106 left to play in the first half. The Eagles got out in front 10-0, and the Giants have come back. Second down and four. Rutledge back to throw. Gets it outside. Baker, the receiver. And 
that should be enough for a first down. Elbert Fowles was the defender. Hey, I think Jeff Rutledge feels more comfortable with Stephen Baker than any of the other receivers because as a backup quarterback, you usually run the other team's plays with the backup players. And he said he's thrown more to Baker than any of the other guys. Although he kind of likes Bavaro today. And Manuel. He likes them all. He retreats on first down. His arm was coming forward. Simmons is the man who put the pressure on him. I think one thing, I think he feels this pressure from Simmons right at the end. And he said, I'd better get that arm going forward or that's going to be a sack or a fumble or something bad. So far, they've done a good job, John, on Reggie White. Well, I'll tell you, they've, they've had some help. Watch who's blocking him now. It's Mark Bavaro. Mark Bavaro, we know, is a receiver, but he's also probably the best blocking tight end in the NFL. Adams is the lone back. Rutledge straight back. Again, he almost got a sack and got away from it. And is brought down by Gary Cobb, short of a first down. Jerome Brown is the man who pressured him out of the pocket. Lock running. They have one timeout remaining. And they'll take it. Well, now what they have to do, what they have to think of here, and it's a tough thing, they have to probably call two plays. See, Bill Parcells didn't want that last timeout. But again, with third down, you almost have to take it. I think Jeff Rutledge was right there. Because you have to take that timeout. Now you have to think of two things. You have to get a first down and then go for the next play. So you should call two plays here. One first down would put them back in field goal range again for Allegri if they can get it off. Well, what I would do is I would call two. One where we go for the first down, and if we get it, just line up and throw the ball into the ground to stop the clock. Then you come up with another play, and then you field goal to town. Third down. They need one. Rutledge will throw. In the direction of Manuel. Manuel was headed inside. Rutledge left him outside. He led him outside, I should say. Roy Neal Young. Man, the defender. I don't think he had to do that. I think that he should have gone for a first down. I mean, here, they're going like it's one last play, and he's going to, you know, he's looking deep here all the way. He looked to the left first, then he came back and threw that one deep in the middle. Again, Jerome Brown was one of the two Eagles putting the pressure on Rutland. Fourth down. Two to go. A one and a half, I should say, and 30 seconds left. Rutledge gets it to Bavaro, and he has the first down. Bavaro is still on his feet. Hammers down to about the 23-yard line. A pickup of 15. Clock running down. They'll have time for a field goal. Well, they have to get here, get lined up. Now the new rule is the quarterback can throw the ball into the ground to stop the clock. In the direction of Baker. And out of the end zone. That'll stop it. With three seconds left, Elbert fouls the defender, and Allegre comes on. He's hit from 53 yards already. Of course, it worked out pretty well for the Giants. I would have did what they did on on, on uh, fourth down. I would have done that on third down. Allegre will get a try. Rutledge will hold. This one's from 41 yards out. Three seconds to play in the first half. Allegre pulls it. And it's no good. So the Eagles and Giants are tied as they head for the locker rooms. A score of 10-10. The Eagles took the opening kickoff and marched 91 yards. Cunningham went in from four yards out. They got a field goal from McFadden, then 
Manuel scored the giant touchdown, and they got a 53-yarder from Allegri. That's the end of the first half with the score. The Giants 10, the Eagles 10. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Honda, maker of the CRX SI. Miller Light, proud sponsor of NFL Lineman of the Year. There's only one light beer, Miller Light. And by MasterCard. This season, make every purchase mean more. MasterCard can make a difference. Just about ready to go with the second half here at Veterans Stadium. Score tied at 10. The Eagles will kick off to open the second half. Telsic does the kicking off. Leroux's son and George Adams go back deep for the Giants. Telsic's kick is going to be short. Handled by Rousson at the seven. And hit by the Eagles at about the 22-yard line. Cedric Brown is the man who knocked him out of bounds. A 16-yard return. Jeff Rutledge, 9 of 16 for 157 yards. The one touchdown to Manuel. One intercepted. Yeah, the big thing with Jeff Rutledge, he says he has to find out for himself. He's been in the league for nine years. We said he's only started. This is his eighth game. They said you have confidence. You talk confidently. He said, but you have to go out and do it to really just reaffirm that confidence. Rutledge on first down. That's Adams on the move. Chased out of the pocket by Clark and now by Reggie White. That's the first sack on Rutledge. Clark did the early work. White finish it off. That's what you like to do. If you can do that, if you can break a guy through, the way Clark breaks through, and get the quarterback to put the ball down, then you chase him the way he's going. You see the angle that Reggie White had from inside out. So Clark made him bring the ball down, and then Reggie White just flattened out and chased him to that side. Second and 16, it's Roussan and Adams. The running backs. Morris still out. Draw play. And Adams, the flag is down, but the draw play was smothered by Ken Clark, the nose guard. That's a tough thing when you're trying to run a draw up the middle. And that nose tackle is just rushing the passer, and you have to run the draw right into him. Right into that inside tackle. Nation, left guard, offense. Penalty time, third down. Eagles refuse the penalty. It'll bring up a third and 19. Ball back at the Giants, 15. Baker split down to the left. Dalbert. Here's the lone setback back with Rutledge. He retreats to throw. Got a man. It's got Baker. Baker beats both fouls. <laughs> 51 yards on the pass completion from Rutledge to Baker. That's what the Giants were talking about last night. If there's anyone they want to go to work on on that Eagle defense, it's the right corner, Albert Fowles. And they saved that big play to go to, to go to Baker on this one. But it'll be on the right of the screen. And you can see Rutledge knows that he wants to go to Baker. He wants to work on foul. Baker just runs right by him. First down, Giants at the Eagle 34. Pitch back to Roussan. Roussan with room to the 20. Clyde Simmons finally brought him down. Picked up 14. You're talking about a quarterback having to hang in there. Here's the play when he's going to hit Stephen Baker. He hits Baker. He doesn't see it. He's depleted. Both feet off the ground. Hand off to Adams. 
hit right at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Bring up the second and ten. Clark and Brown made the tackle. Well, Adams is wondering what the heck's happening. I I run the ball and I run it right into Clark. There's no holes there. You give it to Rusan on the right side. And there's a big hole you can drive a truck through. You really can't blame a running back for that when he goes to the line of practice. Just a wall there. No room. Adams has carried five times for eight yards. Rusan four for 22. That's Manuel, the motion man. And Rutledge. Passes picked off by foul. Albert Foul, who lost to Baker two plays ago, now wins this battle. Well, they went to Fowles on the left side. They said, well, let's see if Baker can get him on the right side. Fowles just goes step for step with Baker that time, gets the inside position, and comes up with the interception. So the Eagles will take over at the 20 with 11.42 left to play in the third quarter. It's still 10-10. Next Saturday, the game of the year, Oklahoma-Nebraska on CBS Sports. The new Honda CRX SI has a new double wishbone suspension system and a new 16-valve fuel-injected engine that has 105 horses. That's a lot of horses. In 1973, a small bar served the first light beer. The response was unanimous. Tastes great. Here was a beer with its own special brewing process. Less filling. It's brewed to be light with only the finest quality ingredients. Tastes great. It's less filling. Tastes Today, there are lots of lights around, but none are brewed like Miller Light, and none can match the taste. Tastes great. For great taste, there's only one light beer, Miller Light. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Make this world a better place. If you can. Now, every time you use MasterCard, we'll donate money to six worthy causes. Look for the ballots and help choose where the money goes. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Choose to make a difference. Choose MasterCard. Back at Veterans Stadium, Pat Summerall, John Madden, Giants 10, Eagles 10. Giants have had three turnovers. The Eagles have had none. Randall Cunningham, the quarterback. Spagnola starts in motion. Cunningham gets it to Kenny Jackson. Jackson gets out to about the 39. An Eagle first down. Kenny Hill and Terry Kennard. They just x-rayed Joe Morris's shoulder. He's just coming out of the locker room now, and he ran across the back of the field. He's coming up there, and the guy in front of him is carrying the x-ray. Of course, they x-rayed his shoulder, or that cartilage area in his chest, and they'll bring it out now and show it to the doctor on the sideline. First and 10, Eagles. Giants showing blitz with Lawrence Taylor, this time lined up on the left side. Cunningham lobs it out to Byers. Fires out of bounds by Perry Williams, the doctor, looking at the X-ray over on the sideline. He needs some light, though. You got to get it up against a jukebox or something if you're not in an office. I think a jukebox is not available right now. Yeah, but if you need, you need I mean, his parents didn't <laughs> send him to medical school to stand up in the dark. It's dark up there. There's no lights. There's no sun. There's nothing. You need some artificial light. Eagles go with Jimmy Giles in the lineup now. One back, two tight ends, two wide receivers. Cunningham comes out of the pocket, chased by Leonard Marshall. Down the sideline is Cunningham and out of bounds. But it's more than enough for another Eagle first down, a pickup of 20. Cunningham comes out of here. Now he's most effective. He's going to come back, 
straight back. Now, when he feels the pressure, he's going to take off to the left, and then when he sees he has to run, he turns on some burners up that sideline. Now, watch him. He's going to play fake here. Now he feels the pressure from his right. So he says, I have to escape left. I put the ball up. That gets Banks up again. Now watch him turn on the burners there and get out of bounds. He's carried six times and picked up 44 yards. But he does a lot of faking with the ball plus his body. Cutting him outside to Tony. Tony is hammered by Kenny Hill, but he delivered a blow as well. Let's look and see how effective he is. And you can see when he runs to the left, look, he was three for three. And then when he goes to the right, he was two out of three. And I'll tell you, that three for three to the left was for over 80 yards in the first half. That's where he got his biggest yardage, dropping back and then running out to the left. He seems to be more effective there than one staying in the pocket or running to the right. The pass completion to Tony got enough for a first down. Mike Quick. Went wide left, the guy showing blitz. Byers gets the carry. Byers still on his feet. Hammers down inside the 10. Great second effort. Lawrence Taylor finally brought him down. An eight-yard run. It was done almost single-handedly by Byers. That's how you can tell. Everyone talks about momentum this, momentum that. One of the ways that you tell is which way the piles go. If that running back runs in there, when the defense gets him, he comes back this way, then they have it. When they hit like this, and you can make a miss and then end up your runs like this with piles going that way, then the green shirts are winning. There's a lot of white shirts here, but the pile's going the wrong way. Second and two. Jackson in motion. And again to Byers. Byers left side to about the 10. Leonard Marshall met him there. NFL update. Let's again go back to Brent Musburger in New York. And we've got a chance for an upset. New Orleans over San Francisco. Bobby Bear hits Mike Jones. Bad tackle here. Jones breaks free. 43 yards for the touchdown. And now it is 16-7. Saints lead the Niners. Let's go back to Pat and John. We'll be seeing the Saints next week against the Giants. They're going to measure for the first down. Byers went over the left side. Got close. So they'll take a closer look. It came up short on that last one. The pile went the Giants way. See if Byers ran in there two plays before, the pile went forward. That time he ran in there and whap, the pile came backwards. Of course, he didn't get the first down. They need about a foot. 940 with the clock running left in the third quarter. Eagles 10, Giants 10. Eric Dorsey up front for the Giants and replacing George Martin. Cunningham got the first down, picked up three. That was an interesting play. It was a little delayed quarterback sneak with motion. I'm sure that's something that they put in and worked on for Randall Cunningham. They bring the motion in to lead in. Now, he's not going to just take right off. Watch him. He waits a little while, lets his motion come in and lead block for him, and then he runs right off that block by Dave Little, his tight end. And Cunningham just went over 1,000 yards rushing in his career. Ball batted away by George Martin. Banks a little bit slow getting up for the Giants, but he now seems to be okay. If you keep running the ball inside and your quarterback keeps scrambling, you can control Carl Banks and Lawrence Taylor. If you think of it, those are two great linebackers, two all-time great linebackers. But the Eagles and their game plan have done a pretty good job of taking both of those guys out of this game thus far. Cunningham has put a couple of paralyzing moves on Banks, particularly. Second down. Fires. Hit almost as soon as he got the ball. Picked up one or two. 
Pepper Johnson again on the stop. Well, this is where the Eagles have to come up with some big plays. Remember in the first half, they were down their first down on the eight-yard line and didn't get it in. Buddy Ryan was saying yesterday, he said, if we beat the Giants, we have to have at least three big plays from Cunningham. And he's smiling here, and I think he's thinking this is where one of them has to come from. This is where Cunningham can be so very valuable. He can come out of there. Touchdown, Kabayer. Again, the fake got Banks out of the way. Introducing Blush Chablis. It's the beautiful new wine from Gallo that captures what a blush is all about. New Gallo Blush Chablis. It's what happens when a white wine decides to blush. I love to see you blush. Now, especially now, you need an investment firm that is rock solid, strong, unshaken, with capital and clear vision for the bad times, not just the good. Prudential Bates Securities, part of the Prudential family, the firm foundation that keeps your investments on solid ground, armed with the resources to help you in ways no one else can, no matter what the investment climate. Ready? Ready. Prudential Bates Securities, rock solid, market-wise. Faithfully, Honda has been number one in customer satisfaction, number one in import owner loyalty, number one for the money. Introducing new Faithful, the new Honda Civic Hatchback, one of the lowest priced wonders in America. You can count on it. Duty. I don't know what you owe this guy, Sergeant. I just don't believe in sticking my neck out for no reason. The man was drunk on duty. We are sitting ducks, LT. Thursday on CBS. Cunningham to Byers. Byers' first touchdown. Oh, a pass reception in his career. From eight yards out. The Eagles went nine plays, took nine plays, went 80 yards. Touchdown pass from Cunningham to Byers. Adams and Roussan back deep for the Giants. Telchik, line drive kickoff. Adams at the one. Adams cut down at about the 20-yard line. Let's watch that touchdown again and see the effect that Cunningham has on Banks here by just taking the ball and pumping it, getting him off his feet, and then being able to get outside of him. Now, you know, he not only has the quickness, but when you have the ball, you can use that if they watch me. Pumps him, up goes Banks, out comes Cunningham, and then, of course, Byers gets the touchdown. That was a, a full gainer by Cunningham. Full spinner. First and ten Giants. Rutledge comes back to throw and is hammered by Reggie White. Boy, did he get there in a hurry. That's that 4640 we were talking about. He was like he was in a cannon. Watch him like someone shot him out of there. Okay, when they get by that offensive lineman on the line of scrimmage, and the only thing they see is a quarterback with the ball, they go from about 4-6 to 4-2. Just something about it. When you see that quarterback and you got a shot at him, you pick up speed. They smell good. 
Reggie White's second sack of the day. Second down at 18. The ball back at the 15. Rutledge retreats again. Now to Manuel. Incomplete. Royal Young and Andre Waters on the coverage. I thought he had it for a moment. Yeah, this is the thing when you can't run, then you start passing, and then the defense knows it, so they start getting into their coverages and their pass rushes. That was some drive there by the Eagles. You know, remember that came off an interception, too. They were trying to go to Lionel Manuel deep. Albert Fowles intercepted it, and that started the whole drive. They went 80 yards. Third down at 18. Rutledge will have to put it up again. Chased out of the pocket. Rutledge gets it upfield. And fires it out of bounds, and the Giants will have to punt. Ken Clark and Mike Pitts were chasing Rutledge. And this is what happens to a team when they get down and they can't run. When you have to throw it every down, you got a problem. Well, that's what NFL defenses are built for. Bart Oates, the snapper to Landetta, who's standing right on the end zone line. No rush by the Eagles and a good kick by Landetta. Bobby Morris takes it at his own 37. He's down immediately. Greg Lasker was down to tackle him as soon as he caught it. 48-yard punt by Landetta. Lasker down in a hurry. It's 17 and 10, Philadelphia. When I played football, they called me a troublemaker. But really, I'm just a nice guy who likes to watch a game with a Miller Light. I see you're drinking light, too. Yeah, it tastes great. I agree. But he drinks it because it's less filling. It tastes great. Did you hear that? It's less filling. Pretty strong words. It tastes great. Less filling. Tastes great. Less filling. Tastes great. Less filling. There's no argument. There's only one light beer. Miller Lite. Is that a light beer you're drinking? Yeah, it tastes great. I agree, but that's not what he said. Oh. Think we're going to make it? This thing does. Well, at least we're playing back in a 747. Aren't we? Northwest has an all 747 fleet to and from the Far East. Yeah. Harry, uh, Kalamazoo Tuesday, I can do that. Memphis Wednesday, I can do that. New York Thursday, I can do that. How am I going to do that? No matter where you do business, Northwest can fly you there. Sometimes even Pat Riley's stomach can lose its cool. That's when he reaches for Rolaids. Nothing works better for acid indigestion. So Pat's free to let his emotions really show. Not bad. Relief, you know how to spell it. comfort strip to give you a smoother shave for the easy touch. Two Heisman contenders. Front runner Tim Brown ignites Notre Dame against Penn State and Blair Thomas, the doubleheader day of champions next Saturday on CBS Sports. Next Sunday on CBS at 1230 the NFL today and the early games will be Detroit against the Bears and St. Louis here to play the Philadelphia Eagles. And then the late game down in New Orleans. The Giants against the Saints, who are at the moment upsetting San Francisco. First and 10, Philadelphia at their own 40. They lead by a touchdown. Draw play to Tony. Tony is hit by Harry Carson. Washington. You know, Buddy Ryan now has his own team, and he's not as outgoing. He's not, you know, talking about the players as much. He figures that he had to take the heat in his first year, but now that he has his guys, he's starting to feel comfortable about this Eagle team. The scouting staff was saying yesterday, we know now, too, what kind of players Buddy wants. If they're not tough, he doesn't want them. Sack by Lawrence Taylor around the corner. The fourth time Cunningham has gone down. That 
Jackson went here, you're going to see Lawrence Taylor. He's at the top of the screen there. He's just going to take off with his speed. This is a speed rush. But that Matt Darwin tries to get out there. He just gets a bump. With, with Taylor's speed, he can go around that corner and still get back in. Like Richard Dent of the Bears. They're the only two that can really, really make that kind of rush and make it effective. Third down. 13. Cunningham retreats. He comes out of the pocket. This time, nothing doing. Eric Howard and Carl Banks were there to make sure that the Eagles will have to punt until she comes on to do that. Randall Cunningham's coming off there, checking the neck. They had all the parts. <laughs> he just didn't have anything in there that time. Well, he took a shot last week from Darrell Grant of the Redskins. And he was saying yesterday that his neck is still sore. He said it makes noises when I move my head. That happens when you play a while. The longer you play, the more noises you get when you move the parts. What you really got to worry is when there's not really any noise, but you hear it. Good kick this time. Conkey will field it at the 23. And it gets outside the 30. We got a moment. Let's check out today's scoreboard. Rams beat St. Louis. No time remaining. Eric Dickerson had 154 yards rushing as Indianapolis beat Miami. Chiefs have lost eight straight. The Viking regulars now are five and one as they beat Tampa Bay. Cleveland beat Buffalo. Houston rolling right along now, 6-3. Chuck Long of the Lions was intercepted four times by the Redskins. And Herschel Walker scored from 60 yards out in overtime. Rutledge back to throw. Has time. Pass intended for Lionel Emanuel. Flag goes down on the play. He was hit by Gary Cobb. But a penalty marker down. Pass interference. Number 50 defense. First down. What they're saying is that Cobb hit him before the ball got there. That looked okay to me. I mean, you have to let the guy play defense. You can't say it's basketball or something. Sure, that's what Cobb's thinking. He's a nine year veteran, so he knows when he does something wrong and when he doesn't. Adams alone setback. First down, Giants. Rutledge back to throw again. Lionel Manuel and Manuel is tripped just at the last second. It looked like touchdown all the way. Roy Nell Young saved it for the Eagles. The only thing about Lionel Manuel, he can run because that's the second time that he's run away from Roy Nell Young. Again, Roy Nell Young is one of the better corners in this league. And you see it right there, man for man. Roy Nell Young was looking inside, and when he looked inside, that brought his whole body inside, and then Manuel just got a couple of steps on him. Manuel's caught just three passes, but 90 yards and a touchdown. First and 10 Giants with the Eagle 22. Hand off to Rousson. Inside the 20, for a gain of four. Mike Reichenbach tripped him up. This is really a funny game. The Giants, again, are playing without Joe Morris. He only ran the ball one time for minus two yards. They don't have any rushing going. The Eagles are playing much better. But if the Giants can get a score right here, a touchdown, it's a tie game again. And that's the way the first half went. It was funny. The Eagles played better in every area and came out of the tie. Roussan has split wide to the left this time. The counter play to Adams. Not much there. He got down to about the 15. Mike Reichenbach again stopped him. For an NFL update, let's send you again back to Brent Musburger in New York. All right, Pat. Well, it's that same combination for the 49ers and Jerry Rice on the receiving end. As it's the halfback pass, Montana throwing it wide, and Rice with his second touchdown. Now let's go back to Pat Summerall and John Madden running in the third quarter with three minutes and 12 seconds now down to 310 left in the third quarter it's third and three 
Veterans Stadium is roaring. Rutledge fake to Roussan, throws it right up the middle to Bavaro. Bavaro struggles inside the 10. It's enough for a first down, and it'll be first and goal from there. By the way, the x-rays on Joe Morris' chest, sternum, were negative. And it is a possib possibility he'll be back. You always tell if he's going to be back if he has his helmet in his hand. If he's there, yep, he has a helmet in his hand, and that means there's a chance that he'll play again. When, when, when they take the helmet away from him, he won't be back in. First and goal on the eighth. That's Roussan hammered right at the line of skin. Maybe he got a yard. Mike Rackenbach again on the stop. I think another thing, I think the Giants, when you talk about their running game, I think they miss Maurice Carthon. Because he was one thing, you know, he was a guy who would block like a lineman in tight end. He's not here today. In fact, he's down in Memphis where his mother's sick, and we wish he and his mother the best. But I think the running game does miss Carthon, and, and of course, Carl Nelson, and it's a different team. And Chris Godfrey. Here's Rutledge back to throw. And down he goes, Reggie White again. Jerome Brown with an assist. Tomorrow's saying someone held him. But if you're going to pass, it doesn't make any difference what they do to Bavaro. In fact, you do see that they did hold him down there. And right there, Reichenbach has a hold of him. But the only thing is, you better get Reggie White blocked first. And the Giants take a timeout with 1.32 left to play in the third quarter. The Eagles up by seven. Wouldn't it be great if every lettuce and tomato burger came with an oven for the burger and a refrigerator to keep the lettuce and tomato from getting soggy and wilted? McDonald's McDLT does. Its two-sided package keeps the burger hot on the McOven side, and the McFridge side keeps the lettuce and tomato cool and crisp. You put McDLT together so it's always fresh, never soggy, and totally delicious. Mm. In the past two years, 500,000 more Americans switched to Liberty Mutual for auto, home, and life insurance because we made their dollars work harder. America, babies in Liberty, Liberty Mutual Insurance Company. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company. Liberty Mutual Insurance Batteries can lose their freshness waiting to be bought. But only new Duracell battery packs have a freshness date that guarantees they're fresh. Freshness dating from Duracell. About the Honda Accord, the experts at Car and Driver have said, quote, the engine hums sweetly. The steering is deliciously accurate. Cruising is hushed. The Accord is world-class comfortable. It's enough to make us blush. Right, right here on William Roberts. He starts up by him and then the dive to get the sack there at the end. But he starts to the outside, just outruns him. Now watch this extension here to get Jeff Rutland. He was airborne. Of course, Mike Rockenbach was holding down there on Bavaro. That's a heck of a move by Reggie White. Yeah, you gotta get you gotta get a sack with that one. That was Reggie White's third sack today. And it's third down and 16. Rutledge takes to Roussan. People all over the place intended for Manuel. Rutledge just barely got it off. Manuel made the catch about three inches shy of the goal line. I don't know how. We talked about that with the broken hand and the cast on his hand. This is some throw by Rutledge. He had a move. He was moving to his right, threw that ball right in there. I'll tell you, that was something to be able to get that ball in there, catch it, and keep it. They're going for it. Fourth and about a foot. Trying to tie it up. Rutledge says, I can't hear. Hold everything. I think 
they may be looking I at an instant are. replay. Look at Bill Parcells. He's looking up. He wants to see the instant replay on the scoreboard here in the stadium. Not on. Let's see if we have it. You can see it. It's right there in the middle of the screen. Lionel Manuel right there. Now you can see that he caught it. The only thing is, is when he went down, did the ball hit the ground? It didn't look like it to me. That looked like a legal catch. Another angle. Can't tell from that angle. The play stands as ruled. Ball dead on the half yard line. First down. Play stands as ruled. Fourth down and a foot. Not that much. End of the ball is almost touching the goal line right here. Rutledge has Rusan and Adams behind him. Touchdown, Adams. That's what we were saying, that the Eagles have really outplayed the Giants the whole game, but the Giants have just hung in there and kept going and kept coming back, and here it is a tie score again if they can make the extra point. That was Moat in motion. And then we get Roussan on the lead, Adams with the... Well, he starts to the inside. He didn't have anything where he was supposed to go, and he just looked, and he had a soft corner, so he just took it out to that corner. Holds the center. Rutledge to the holder. A light ray for the extra point. Ball bounced. Rutledge made a good pickup. Now we've got another tie. Flag on the play. Seems like on extra points, it's always against the defense. Sometimes on a field goal, you see it holding on the wing, but usually on an extra point, it's against the defense. Really not that much you can do on an extra point. Unless you get a bad snap or something like that. Offside. Number 20 on the defense, on the try. The point is good, five yards on the kickoff. Andre Waters was the man offside. Tie score, 17-17. The man who scored the touchdown and the man who was the giant quarterback. Bill Sims. Next Saturday, CBS Sports presents the most exciting day of college football this year. Starting at noon Eastern time, Seventh-ranked Notre Dame and Heisman Trophy candidate Tim Brown meet last year's national champions, Penn State. Followed by the most eagerly anticipated game of the year, number one-ranked Oklahoma and number two-ranked Nebraska. Special doubleheader day of college football next Sunday right here on CBS Sports. Barry Switzer, the Oklahoma coach, even got hurt yesterday. Going to be on crutches for six weeks. Kickoff is high and short and handled by Morse. Morse by Andy Hedden. Also next week, the NFL early games. Well, it begins with the NFL today. Then Detroit plays the Bears. The Cardinals will be here to play Philadelphia. And then the Giants go down to New Orleans to play the Saints. They are leading San Francisco. The Saints are right now 16-14. Here it's 17 17 with 30 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Randall Cunningham drops the throw. Intended for Spagnola. Mark Collins was the defender closest. Let's watch Carl Banks here. He's he's on Spagnola. You see him. He's going to rush the passer. He just escaped him to the outside. Now he's starting. Now I think he just wants to get outside there and come under control. And I'm sure they tell him when he goes to throw, don't leave your feet. Don't jump in the air. Or run through him. I think Carl Banks finally says, you can't jump against this guy. Tony is the lone setback. Is to Tony straight ahead to the 25. John Washington made the stop again. Picked up three. Clock 
still running as Garrity replaces Spagnola. Down to five seconds remaining third quarter. Chris Carter is also in the game. They won't get this playoff. That's the end of the third quarter with the score of the Eagles 17, the Giants 17. And we now pause for a word from your local station. This is CBS. Guess who just moved into the number one customer satisfaction rating of any car sold in the U.S.? Acura Automobiles. Performance and value that'll make you feel like a king. Including the sporty three-door Integra with more standard features for the money. Drive one at your Acura dealer in Ardmore, Philadelphia, Westchester, Langhorne, Allentown, Huntington Valley, Reading, Wilmington, and Maple Shade. Multiple data systems. Duplication of effort. Low efficiency. Yet a limited budget says no new equipment. No expensive rewiring. No way to tie them all together. Enter Bell Atlantic with a brilliant low-cost solution. Using existing phone lines and our Centrex local network, we made integrated data transport an affordable reality. The companies of Bell Atlantic. We make technology work for you. Getting there can be more than half the fun. Ford Escort GT. See the exciting new Ford Escort only at your Quality Plus Ford dealer. Today's game, locally sponsored by your Quality Plus Ford dealers. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Cadillac Motor Car Company. Discover why the only way to travel is Cadillac style. Chick, maker of Chick Plus disposable and Super 2 Plus blades for the easy touch. And by RCA, the most trusted name in electronics. One more quarter to go. Third and seven for the Eagles. Balls at their own 25. Randall Cunningham, the quarterback. Now he operates out of the spread with Tony to his right. Low snap. He scoop. Cunningham throws it out of bounds. Mike Quick was in the area. But just in the area. To punt. He didn't quite turn over. McConkey signals fair catch. Makes it at the 37. Seattle leading Green Bay 21 13. Atlanta over Cincinnati. They're in the fourth quarter. 16-14, the Saints over the 49ers. Well, that was earlier today. That's the final score. As are the rest of these. Here in Philadelphia at Veterans Stadium, it's 17-17. The Eagles and the Giants. Baker is split wide to the right. That's Bavaro. Rutledge back to throw. Swamp. Again, by the Eagle Rush, the fourth sack, Seth Joyner and Ken Clark were the first two there. Rutledge had no chance. A little sore in the back area. Special report from CBS News. Let's go to Charles Osgood in New York. From CBS News, this is a special report. I'm Charles Osgood. There has been a plane crash in Denver. 
A Continental Airlines flight, a DC-9, taking off in a snowstorm for Boise, Idaho, flight 1713, flipped over on the runway and skidded down the runway upside down for about a quarter of a mile before coming to a stop. Some passengers were thrown from the fuselage. Others are apparently trapped in the wreckage. So far, it has been confirmed that at least 12 people have been killed, and there are many casualties. We don't know quite how many. We believe that there were 76 uh, passengers aboard and a crew of five. That would be a total of 81 people aboard the flight. That is the information that we have as of now about a plane crash at Stapleton International Airport in Denver. We'll have more details later on this station, and I'll have more on the CBS Sunday Night News. This is Charles Osgood. Back at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia, the Giants 17-17 the score. Pat Summerall, John Madden, here's the big play you missed. Well, Jeff Rutledge takes out here on a scramble of his own, and he gained more on that yardage than the Giants did rushing in the third quarter. Second and one, Adams over the left side gets the first down. They get inside the Eagle 30. Jerome Brown and Mike Pitts made the stop. Adams got five. 17-17 tie. We're in the fourth quarter. That much time remaining, 13-20. One thing Bill Parcells is thinking last year it seemed so much easier. This year, everything has been a struggle. The Giants really haven't played well, as we said, but they still have a tie score. They've just been hanging in there all day. This is Adams again. Flag is down, a penalty marker down, and that's in all likelihood going to be holding. Adams got six. The greatest drive blocker in football is a holding penalty on a running down. Just takes the air out of everything. Oh, it just does, uh, yeah. Holding number 65 offense. Ten yard penalty, repeat first down. All against Bart Oates. Yeah, you seem to be seeing more and more of that. You're holding against the center. Remember, we did the 49ers a couple weeks ago, and yep. Randy Cross had three or four of them in there. That center has to snap the ball, then get that snap hand back up. And a lot of times when he brings it back up, he has some cloth in it. Gets tangled up with things. First and 20. Rutledge again. Gets to Roussan. Roussan hammers down inside the 35 to about the 34. Gary Cobb made the stop, but Roussan got 12 yards. He got the penalty back, plus two. I'll tell you, they guessed right that time. Watch a nose tackle here. All of a sudden, he's going to boom, take hard to this side, and the ball just goes to the other side of him. Watch that. When you have a nose tackle, you see him come to this side, they just knock him out to that side, and look at the big hole you get in the middle when a nose tackle jumps right or left. Second and nine. Eight, Megan. And off Roussan again. He's not going to get much this time. Seth Joyner on the tackle. NFL update again. Let's go back to Brent Musburger. Pat Ray Worshing set to attempt the field goal that would put the 49ers ahead of the Saints, but Sutton comes in and smothers it. And Pose got it on one bounce, and he goes for the touchdown. New Orleans 23, San Francisco 14, early in the fourth. Back to Pat. 17-17 here. Third down. Baker and McConkie split wide to the left. Emmanuel to the right. Rutledge pointing to someone he wants picked up. The Eagles do come on a blitz and Rutledge gets rid of it to Emmanuel. Baker, beg your pardon, and he couldn't hold on. Andre Waters came on a blitz from the outside and Rutledge had to hurry. Well, this is what Rutledge sees and he's looking that, 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 that he's outnumbered here. You see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys, and he only has six blockers up there. So he's counting them. He said, block the inside guys. I'll get rid of it before the outside guys get there. That's what he does. Just barely. A 52-yard field goal attempt coming up from Raul Alegre. He missed from 41, hit from 53. Now he's going from 52. That's going to get there. And that's good. That 
would have been good from 60. That hit the back wall on the fly. And the Giants take the lead, 2017. Make red. Be red. Make blue. Be blue. Make colors as bright as light. Make colors feel like colors feel. The brilliant colors of life. Trust RCA to bring them to you on Precision Performance Big Screen TV. Only from RCA. The most trusted name in electronics. This is where <laughs> Hi. Having fun? Seagram's Golden Wine Cooler. I'm waiting for my friend. Also, when he arrives, that's when the fun starts. She. Pity you don't have a friend. Maybe I do. Another Seagram's Cooler for my friend. And one for mine. Any volunteers? Any one guy? A confident guy. <laughs> I'll do all the talking. This NFL game summary is sponsored by Seagram's Coolers. This is where the fun starts. Rushing yards, a little bit more respectable on the Giants' side now. The Eagles have 162, the Giants 100. The Eagles got 10 points as a result of turnovers. And Raul Allegri has hit field goals of 53 and 52 yards. It has been, John, a strange game. The Giants don't seem like they should even be close and they're ahead. Uh, it's a funny game. You know, we always talk about emotion and all those things you have to have, and the Eagles really have it. The Giants look a little flat, but when they would get behind, they just didn't get down. They just kept fighting and fighting and fighting and going, and then they got tied, and now they go ahead and kick the field goal. I got a feeling these last few minutes, and we have, what, a little bit over 11 minutes to go, these last few minutes are going to be something to see. Well, I still say that it's going to come down to a big play or stopping the big play by Randall Cunningham. And that's what Buddy Ryan talked about yesterday. And we said that, that he needs three big plays from him. I'm sure he's gotten at least that, but he still needs another one now. Allegra's kick is fielded at the two by Morse. And the Giants are down in a hurry. But Morse gets out of it somehow. Andy Hedden and Wayne Haddix down to take him down inside the 20. 11 yard return by Morse. And the Eagles will go to work at their own 14 yard line. 13 call it. So they got a long way to go. You know it's funny how I don't know if the Giants have a chance for the playoffs now or not but until you're eliminated everyone does but it's funny how so early they get into must games. When you've only won two games, this is a big, big must game. This would make them three and six if they can hang on to win it. Cunningham has his pass picked off by Perry Williams. Good play by Perry Williams. Intended for Mike Quick. There's Lawrence Taylor. Now he's coming from the outside. You see him, he starts outside, then back inside. And he was right on Cunningham. He made him throw that ball. I think he threw it a little before he wanted to. You see him throw. He has to get rid of the ball now or he's going to take the sack. He throws it in there. And again, Terry Williams was playing underneath in a double coverage. So he could jump in front of the receiver. The Giants 20, the Eagles 17. 52 remaining. It's your sign looking for some room but can't find it. Seth Joyner made the stop. Bill Parcells said last night, he said, you know, he, he said, we're doing a little better now, and he said, I'm doing a better job of coaching. He said, there was a, a couple of weeks when the strike broke and so on that, that maybe I overreacted. Maybe I did some things that I shouldn't have, but now I'm back into it, and I'm a better coach, and he hopes it's just not too late. You saw him talking to Joe Morris, perhaps asking, could you go back in? It looked like Morris waved him off. It's for Manuel, and it's incomplete. Roy L. Young right with him this time. Rutledge led him to the outside. Stops the clock with 10.08 left to play. Rutledge 
yards, 13 out of 25 for 271 yards. Cunningham, 13 out of 23. Rutledge has had two picked off. Cunningham, one. Third and nine. He gets it to Adams, and Adams inside the 30, stopped by Gary Cobb and Mike Reichenbach. Not quite enough for a first down. Here comes Allegra again. Hey, he should have saved a little distance on that last one. He had, right. as she said, he had 10 yards too much. The last one was from the right hash mark. This one is from the left hash mark. Remember against the Cowboys uh, early the first right. time, he missed one from this left hash mark. First time he's got field goals of 53 and 52. This one's for 47. the upright and bounce out. You got to get him outside 50 yards before he can make it. And with 9.22 remaining, it's the Giants 20, the Eagles 17. The only way to travel is Cadillac style. Some people want more, but not just a little bit. This is your life and you're the only one who's living it. Let's go, let's let's go every mile. The only way to travel is Cadillac style. Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac style. Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac style. Some people want more, but not just a little bit. with the world's funniest tennis coach, Jan Tyriak. <laughs> this guy's a million laughs. Hey, remember the one you told me about the chicken and the tennis ball? <laughs> that just cracked me up. Here, have another Miller Lite. Yeah, light tastes great and it's less filling. And you don't want to get filled up when you're having as good a time as we are. Right, Jan? <laughs> the serious beer drinkers, there's only one light beer, Miller Lite. Oh, stop it, man. You're killing me. <laughs> The upstart Saints, a team to be reckoned with. But soon they'll reckon with the Giants next Sunday on CBS Sports. Pat Summerall and John Madden, 9.22 left to play at Veterans Stadium. 20-17. The Giants lead it. Raul Allegre, who just missed from 47 yards, but he's had two of over 50, 53 and 52, the first time a giant kicker has ever done that in the same game. I think he has more trouble with the left hash mark. You know, no it no seems doubt about like, it. Like he just kicks him straight. I mean, he had the distance and the ball was straight, but went right down the hash mark and hit the uh, hit the pipe. Randall Cunningham has Byers and Tony behind him. And off Byers, Carson had a shot at him. He got away from that Leonard Marshall chased him out of bounds so did George Martin loss of one I tell you big Leonard came all the way across the field on that one he got that that big body motor in they were talking about Reggie White now <laughs> Leonard, Leonard Leonard has a little more uh, baggage in there but watch that he gets that big stuff going and it's uh, it's bouncing right across there. I mean, stuff has to go out of bounds when that's coming at you. Second and 11. It's cutting him back to throw. Chased by Marshall. Gets rid of it up the middle for Tony incomplete. He's lucky that one wasn't picked off. There were a lot of white shirts around. Carl Banks, Pepper Johnson, both. Have, have played a different game and you, you know, you're kind of just getting rid of the ball before they get there going inside at them dancing around the the rushes trying to get the ball out there and, and they really kept some guys out of the game the injured Eagle players Joe Conwell the offensive tackle 
he never got back to his feet. So Conwell's a right tackle, and he's been playing over there against George Martin and Eric Dorsey, and he's done a pretty good job. You haven't, in fact, uh, Martin started, Dorsey was in there earlier, and uh, I think Conwell has, has done his, his part pretty well today. They're checking. It would appear as Nick Alexander, David Alexander, has taken his place already, number 72. As they wait for Conwell to become mobile. David Alexander's a rookie, and that's one place that it's tough. You're in your big game against the Giants, and you're and you're down in the fourth quarter, and you have to come off the bench and try and block George Martin, or if Lawrence Taylor lines up on that side, you have to block him. He's looking him over now, seeing who's there. Here comes Conwell, who looks to be okay. Hey, look how the rushing has changed from the first half to the second half. The Giants got started the first half only 35 yards. Now they've come back. They have 66. The Eagles, big rushing, 124 in the first half. And they couldn't find that again. And only had 37 in the second half. And the Giants now lead it 20 to 17. Third and 11. Cunningham goes back in the spread. Has time. Has Mike Quick. It might be a little bit short of a first down. Andy Hedden and Wayne Haddix. And this is going to be an interesting decision for Buddy Ryan. If it is short, what do you do now? I mean, I think I know. I think I know what Buddy Ryan's going to do. He's going to go for it. It is a first down. He yeah. doesn't have to make but that decision. He doesn't have to make it, but no Buddy Ryan. He, he would have gone. gone for it had it been short. Conwell is back in the game at right tackle. The problem with his neck, but not a very serious one. Eight and a half minutes left to play. Tony breaks one tackle, spins around, and gets some good yardage. Banks finally tripped him, but he got six. I like Anthony Tony. You see what he did? That first jolt was from his own guy. He ran into Joe Conwell. He ran right into Conwell back. Whack! And then he goes back, and then he gets it started again. Let's see if we can watch it. Watch you. Conwell is pulling from the right, number 79. I watch him. He's going to run right into him. What? He gets turned around, does a spinner, and comes out for another five yards. Second and four. Cunningham <laughs> smothered by Leonard Marshall and Lawrence Taylor. Marshall got there first. The sixth sack. Leonard Marshall comes from the outside and he says, well, we got to get something going here. You guys hold him up, make him stop, and I'll come, boom, right here, and I'll get him there. You see, you have to have someone on the inside, someone on the outside, so he can't go to either side. Make him step up, and then, like that, where you just get him surrounded. Garrity comes wide to the left. Tony and Haddix, Michael Haddix this is, are the winners this time. All out blitz by the Giants. Garrity has it popped through his hands. He was open. Perry Williams was the defender. He doesn't drop those ordinarily. Well, that's what he's used for. You know, he's caught some big touchdowns of game winners in the last two games. And Buddy Ryan's saying, but more importantly than that, he gets his first down. Of course, that time, that's who they went to, and he didn't get it. Everybody was in the game but the punter. Yeah, he was over there. He had a warmer on his foot. But I don't know what he... Maybe thought they were going to kick a field goal. Must have thought it wasn't fourth down. The hockey signals fair catch and makes it at the 29. 30-yard punt is all. No penalties on that kick, so the Giants will take over at their own 29-yard line with 7.15 left. Working to be the best they can be. Teammates sponsored by the U.S. Army. 
Randall Cunningham and Greg Garrity are teaming up to key the Eagles' drive for the playoffs. In the last two weeks, they have snatched victory in the final seconds over division rivals. First versus St. Louis. And then an even more dramatic fashion against the Redskins. Cunningham and Garrity, individually they're good. As teammates, they strive to be the best they can be. Apache, there's nothing hotter in the air or on the ground for Jack Holt, Army crew chief. The Apache's got advanced everything, like a TV for target acquisition. The gunner aims just by moving his head. Talk about hot. This bird can make tracks at 200 miles an hour. Now that's cool. No, that's hot. Two of college football's greatest rivalries are headed your way. A year ago, Notre Dame almost upset Penn State, but this fourth down pass failed. In 1971, Johnny Rogers of Nebraska exploding against Oklahoma. And the Huskers would go on to beat the Sooners and wind up in the Orange Bowl in one of the greatest games ever played. Now, next Saturday here on CBS, at noon Eastern time, we'll have the rematch. Notre Dame at Penn State. That will be followed by the battle for number one, Oklahoma at Nebraska. We'll start at noon Eastern on CBS. Is that a familiar face? Hey, that's Tom Brookshire, and, and you know, you always talk about great players, and the thing is, they, they, he just lost his wristwatch. <laughs> he's so excited and rooting, he lost the wristwatch, went right off the wrist. But oh. he's one of those numbers that the Eagles have retired. Only to Brookie would that happen. <laughs> to Bavaro. <laughs> Somebody threw it back to him. <laughs> it's an old defensive back. When it goes, you start to look. <laughs> <laughs> he checked to see if it was the same watch. He and I have done a few events here and there. You guys have been around, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, I remember Brooker when he played for the Eagles, and he was a defensive back, and I think he was one of the toughest guys oh, yeah. I've ever seen play. I'll tell you. He hit me so hard one time it split my helmet. Adams, a ball carrier. Clark and Pitts made the tackle. Those are the numbers the Eagles have retired. Al Wister, Steve Van Buren, the great runner. Tom Brookshire, number 40. The great Chuck Bednarik and the Baron, Peter Etzlaff. That's all, just five. I remember Chuck Bidnerick retired at the end of the 1959 season. They gave him a car, the whole thing. Then he came back in 1960. Not only played again, he went both ways. Both ways. The year after he retired. That's a good gimmick. That was their championship year. Second down. This is Adams straight ahead into Eagle territory. Gary Cobb on the tackle. And in case you're wondering about giant retired numbers, Ray Flaherty, Mel Hine, Ken Strong, Al Blosis, Charles Connolly, Y. Tittle, and Joe Morrison. Third and one. now left to play. Moat in motion. Adams left side should be close to a first down. Two yards. If it's two yards, he got it. Elbert fouls on the tackle. And they're eating up the clock. That's a big one now. Now because that gives you four more downs and with the with five minutes left, all they have to do is they would like to get two or three minutes off and of course come up with a score but you have to keep the ball out of their hand. First and ten from the forty five. It's an unusual formation. This is Drew Sun. Down to about the forty one. 
Wyatt Simmons on the stop. Roussan got four. You know what the Giants are doing is, is kind of interesting, and it's a page out of what the 49ers do. Everyone in the NFL would always want to run, establish the run, and then go to the pass. And these guys, the Giants started out today passing, passing all the time, couldn't run. Then, now you establish the pass and then come back to the run. I think they thought they had to be able to throw it against that eight-man front that Buddy Ryan puts up there. Rutledge takes a lot of time. Second down. Ended for Baker. Fouls got there at the same time the ball did, and it's incomplete. Yeah, Bill Parcells was saying after the game against the Patriots last week that Ray Claiborne, the corner from the Patriots, came up and said that after he after he played against Baker, he said Baker was the quickest guy that he's ever covered. He said, why do you keep running that guy out here at me? <laughs> Parcells said, I knew you were getting old. He can still run, though. Yeah, he can. Run. Baker goes wide left this time. Fouls out there with him. McConkey's in the slot to the left. Emmanuel's foot wide to the right. Here comes the blitz. He had a throw early. Intended for Baker incomplete. This is out of field goal range, so... Landetta comes on. Yeah, you think the Giants could pick up an advantage here by kicking one of those coffin corner things, but then you remember the Eagles' most success has been on long drives. They had a 91 yard, and I think an 81 80. yard. Well, maybe if you kick one inside that 10, that may be the thing that fires up that Eagle offense. Bobby Morris back deep. I think he'll kick this one right straight up. Signals fair catch makes it at the 15. So if they're going, they'll have to go 84 yards. Only a 25 yard punt by Landetta. The Rams won over St. Louis. The Colts won. The Jets beat Kansas City. Minnesota and Cleveland both winners. Houston over Pittsburgh by 20. Washington beat Detroit. In overtime. See the last two times, the last two games. Look at these drives and winning drives. A minute and a minute 23. They came back to beat St. Louis and Washington. So they thin air. The Eagles have. 348 left to play. Cunningham comes out of it. A flag is down. Cunningham still goes to the 35. Penalty on the far side of the field. Carl Banks finally tripped up Cunningham. Spagnola is down. Can't lose him. He's the signal man. Cunningham scrambled for 19. Let's see what the penalty is. That's all right. Holding number 25 on the defense. Five yard penalty. Back on to the end of the run. First and 10. Mark Collins. Here's Mark Collins. He's out here on Kenny Jackson. Now, again, you can hit him that first five yards, you can't grab him. And you see that he held him there as Kenny Jackson was coming off the line of scrimmage. But I don't know that that's right. I guess you can do that, but if the quarterback is running as he was, you have the, you can chuck more than the five yards. Cunningham asking for quiet. Lock running at 320 left. He retreats. Ducks up into the pocket and then ducks back outside. Chased by Banks. Threw the ball on the ground as he was in Banks' arms. No flag. Banks played that one great. He's going to start out there up on top. Comes to the outside. Now he knows he's not going to go inside when he goes inside. You see, he's not going to go in there. He's going to keep leverage. Now, as he starts out, he's not going to jump in the air again. He's not going to jump and go for that pump. He's just going to go right through him. Good play. Early in the game, every time... Cunningham would pump, Banks would jump. Then he pumped and whoop. He just put that helmet in the middle of him, and that stops the pump. Stopped the clock. 314 left. Cunningham back to throw. Intended for Spagola, who's hit by Carsons, covered by reasons. 
who knocked it away. 14 out of 28 is Cunningham now. Big third down and 10 situation coming up. Clock stopped at 310. Third and 10 at the 40. Giants 20, Eagles 17. This is where he likes to go to Greg Garrity. You know, he'll get in a, a shotgun and he has the, the three or four wide receivers out there, but Garrity is the guy he likes to work in these situations. Garrity's down at the bottom of your picture, split wide left. Pass is intended for quick and almost intercepted. The Eagles will have to punt or will punt. Carl Banks on the coverage again. I think Carl Banks has this game figured out now. I think early he went for some things he shouldn't have and and then he figured okay now we know what he's doing we know what we have to do and Banks the second half is kind of taking control of things out there. High snap to Telchik he almost has it blocked but gets off a fine punt. McConkey again signals fair catch at the 16. And so the Giants will take over there. Zeke Moak was the Giant who almost blocked the punt. But he got off a 44-yarder, nevertheless. Two fifty-eight remaining. The Giants in front by three. I think there's a penalty on that. And I think there's a, I think there's a flag down there somewhere. I didn't see it. Still don't see it. I think it's right by the official's foot. I think a guy may be stepping on it. They just picked yeah, it there up it is. there. This will fall from necessary rough this number 82 on the receiving team. After the play, half the distance penalty, Christian 10. Mark Ingram is number 82. And they move the ball back, all the way back to the eight-yard line. Rutledge, the last man to get close to the huddle, and here he comes. You don't see that too often. You don't see those rookie wide receivers getting in fights no. too much. Usually not the physical type, although you do see him with the long sweatshirts underneath. Crowd encouraging the Eagles. Hand off is to Adams, and the Eagle defense, led by Jerome Brown, rise to the occasion at least once. He only got a yard. have more rushing yards in this quarter than they had in the three previous ones. But they need some right now or the Eagles. It's interesting. They have all their timeouts. Whether they're going to take one before the two minute warning. I guess they're not going to. They're going to wait. Take the two minute warning and then save their three for the last two minutes. 218 now left in the game. Pitch back to Roussan, and he is cut down at about the eight by Seth Joyner. And we'll get the two-minute warning before they run another play. Seth Joyner played that well. He had to contain it, make him cut back to the inside, which he did. And I think the Eagles just took a timeout. They did. And, and, then, they, and then, then they'll wait for the two-minute warning to be the next timeout. NFL update again. Let's send you back to our New York studio and Brent Busberger. Well, Patty's done it before, and here he is again, Joe Montana, bluffing the draw, and he gets Ron Heller, the tight end, open in the middle. The extra point is good. The Niners lead 24-23, but the Saints are coming right back. Let's send you back to Pat and John. 20 to 17 here at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. 2-10 left on the clock. The Eagles have two timeouts remaining. So do the Giants. I thought in that game out in San Francisco that Steve Young started today. I wonder if they... He went out with a concussion early. So Joe Montana had to play with that bad finger. In fact, Steve Young threw the first touchdown pass to Jerry Rice. And then Montana came on. Well, what the Giants need here is a first down, obviously. What the Eagle defense needs is to stop them. 2-10 remaining. 20 to 17 Giants. You can barely hear. Baker split wide left and Manuel to the right. He's going to try to put it up. He gets it to Bavaro. And Bavaro is tackled short of the first down. Terry Hogue and Andre Waters, the two safety men, converge to take 
Bavaro down, and that is the two-minute warning. And again, both teams have two timeouts remaining. The Giants lead it by three. I am master of the ancient art of karate, kung fu, and the Chinese chuckle. <laughs> But the one about the socializing. I always reach for a cold a Miller light. Light tastes great. Lightless a feeling too. Hey, anybody want the pepperoni? Ancient proverb: only one light beer, Miller Light. I'm Arthur Newman. Women would love to get their arms around my brother Paul. So at investment firms. But I have a firm that loves to work for people like you and me, too. Dean Witter. You see, I may not be a heartthrob, but Dean Witter still handles my investments with tender, loving care. You're somebody at Dean Witter. A member of the Sears Financial Network. The only way to travel is Cadillac style. is the injured giant. Two minutes remain. Hey, Brad Benson has done a, a fine job today on Clyde Simmons over there. I think that you know, in the last couple of weeks he's had a tough time. Has come under some criticism, but I think I think today he's he's done his job. What happened? He was in pass protection here, and it looked like one of the Eagles hit him from the side, not the guy that he was blocking. Let's see if we can take a look at the play. Tonight on CBS, he may go down into the history books as the typhoid Mary of AIDS. Watch 60 Minutes tonight on CBS, followed by Murder, She Wrote, starring Angela Lansbury. Then the CBS Sunday movie, Mayflower Madam, true story of Sidney Biddle Barrow starting Candace Bergen in the title role. That's the lineup coming up tonight on CBS. Right here we have two minutes remaining. Brad Benson walking off. Let's go back and see if we can tell how it happened. Yeah, yeah, he's up there on top of the screen and you can see that his right leg collapses as he gets hit by the Eagle player from the inside right after the snap of the ball. John Landetta standing in his end zone. Set to punt. Don't try to block it. It's going to be a short kick fielded by Morse. And he gets to the giant 43-yard line. Byron Hunt led the special team coverage, but the Eagles will take over in good shape after a 36-yard punt by Landetta. And 49 seconds remaining. The Eagles have two timeouts remaining. On the Eagles again, we show the last two weeks their victories have come in the last minute. They've had those drives. So one thing that that, that helps when you've been there before, success breeds success. When you when you've done it, then you know you can. And they just come out and say, let's go out and do it, just like we did last week. I think I smell overtime. Not a bad whiff. Intended. They tried to get it to Chris Carter, but he was under such pressure from Marshall and Taylor, he couldn't get it done. Again, for an update, Brent Busberger. Pat Morton Anderson has just hit a 40 yarder, about a minute 10 to go now in San Francisco. New Orleans beating the 49ers. It's 26 24. Let's go back to Pat and John. It's 20 to 17. The Giants over the Eagles with a minute and 45 seconds left to play. Second down and 10, Philadelphia. They're at the Giants, 43. Cunningham out of the shotgun. Gets it to Junior Tatalatasi. He gets to the 40. Picked up just four. Herb Welch on the stop. 
That'll bring up a third down and seven situation at the Giant 40. The Eagles are trying to save his time out here. They have two timeouts left. What they need here is the first down. Cunningham whoops it out again to Tarlacasi. He's close to a first down, but not quite. Carl Banks, and now Cunningham calls a timeout. They're going to have to call the timeout. They're going to have to get the spot, and then this is going to be a big call. I think that's a lot smarter. Take the timeout. Go over to the sideline. Talk about the play you want, that fourth down play you want, not just call it as an audible on the line of scrimmage. That with the headset there was Ted Plump. The offensive, the offensive coordinator. Right. Jim Burt. Up next to Coach Parcells. Giants have two timeouts remaining. The Eagles only have one now. And they trail by three. A minute and nine seconds left to play. Spagnola come back. You know, it's an interesting thing. They, they could. It's a tough decision. You know, they could go for the field goal here because it would be about a 50-yard field goal, or go for the fourth down, or go for the snap count. Cunningham, of course, is a good runner. That second surge got it. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage and then surged ahead. Harry Williams made the stop. The Eagles in a hurry. One minute left to go. They're going without a huddle. Quick and Jackson to the right. Garrity to the left. They get it outside to Anthony Tony, who can't find the handle. But it does stop the clock. 48 seconds remaining. Ron Baker is down and slow getting up for the Eagles. Here's the fourth down play. Watch 89. That's Dave Little. He comes in there to lead. Cunningham delays, runs into his own guy, almost fumbles it, and then gets it out to that left side. He's lucky he didn't lose it. It slipped all the way down his leg. And then he got it back. Next 60 minutes. Except on the West Coast. The clock is stopped with 48 seconds left to play. Benson. Buddy Phil Sims talking to him, along with Billy Ard, who plays next to him. That's Baker. Down for the Eagles. Paul McFadden over. Loosening up in case he is called upon. Getting ready. Next Sunday, again, a reminder. Begins with the NFL today, followed by the early games Detroit, Chicago, St. Louis, Philadelphia here. And then the Giants against the New Orleans Saints, who are at the moment ahead of San Francisco. Baker to his feet. Second down and 10 for the Eagles. At the Giant 32 with 48 seconds remaining. It's already been one overtime today. Dallas beat New England in overtime on a 60-yard run by Herschel Walker. The Eagles are at the Giant 32. And Cunningham operates out of the spread. Got it outside to Tony, and this time he hangs on. Wayne Haddock's knocked him out of bounds, and they stop the clock with 42 seconds remaining. A gain of six. We'll bring up a third down. The Eagles have no timeouts, and I think that, that if they could get another another five yards or so, then, then they ought to take a shot at the end zone. So you get a shot for a first down, and then if you make that, then you get a shot at the end zone, and then you kick your field goal. Third down. They need four. Cunningham's coming out of there, and he's got some room. Taken down by Lawrence Taylor. The clock continues to run with 30 seconds, and the Eagles hustle back. Cunningham's trying to call timeout, but, but they don't have any more timeouts. So what he's saying, there's an injured player. That will stop the clock. That's Lawrence Taylor. 
slow to get up. Taylor limping off. He kept Cunningham from getting the first down. Well, that was his job. He was spying him. You see, he was in the middle. He was just going to mirror Cunningham. He did that. Cunningham started the outside. He mirrored him. But they, that would have been a fumble, too, I think. Of course, the Eagles recovered it, but that was some play by Lawrence Taylor. I think when the ball came loose and they recovered it, that's when they lost the first down. I think he had it. It's about three inches short. Now what do you do? Yeah, I don't think you have any decision here from the Eagle side. He has to kick a field goal now. Because you can't take the chance. You don't have any more timeouts, so you can't run that quarterback sneak. You can't run a play. There's really no decision. Buddy Ryan has to kick the field goal to go for the tie. They are saying that his knee was down. It was not a fumble, so he didn't get the first down. And now McFadden is on the scene. Telchik holding. This will be from 39 yards out. This would tie it. Clock is now running with 15 seconds left. McFadden's kick is no good. And that's 20 to 17. And that's the way it'll stay. Let's have another look at that one. Hey, well, he got a good snap. He got the ball out there. Got the ball down. Got it up over the line. I think that was just a bad kick. Just pulled it. It was wide left. Yeah. Hey, Lawrence Taylor, that guy right there, made a big play Didn't on he that tackle of Cunningham. They're still checking him over. Looks like it might be his right knee. And the Giants and Jeff Rutledge will just run it out now. The Eagles can't stop it. And the Giants will improve their record to three and six, and the Eagles will go to four and five. Buddy Ryan hustling to the locker room. Lawrence Taylor being helped to the Giant locker room. He is really in pain now. He made a whale of a play. 